each of our esports awards a persona hello everybody and welcome to the big welcome night for gamers it's the game awards this is min max we're a patron about games friends are getting better Listen, i'm ben hansen joined by sergio vasquez seven years ago. Uh, he hello and then of course leo vader above him it's gaming's biggest night anyway, we're here today, everybody I'm we're gonna watch so the game awards and we're going to Hoot, we're gonna holler, we're going to uh, scream endlessly at what's happening on the screen. Hello everybody in the chat, thank you for being here, thank you for being part of the Midnext community. Rich McLaughlin, David L, Steve, B, Bradley. Steve, Beave, Steve is here, Beave is here, Elden Ring boys are here, everybody's ready to go. Um, we, this is the pre-show happening now. Oh, missed, VR. Oh. My god. Um, cool. Yeah, but uh, does anybody else have big predictions for what we're seeing here? Surreal Vasquez, call it right now. Will we see Elden Ring? Uh, we'll see. So we'll see a trailer. I don't think we'll see gameplay. We won't see gameplay. That's that's wow. That's where I'm leaning. I think uh, I think you're right. I think there's going to be a light trailer. I mean, Sekiro was announced here cryptically. I think it'll be another kind of cryptic trailer going on here. I think that's going to be the biggest thing. Obviously, we have the Smash Brothers character, and we all know what that's going to be. The night guy from Dark Souls, the, the main one. With the ooh. Mm. Yep. And then every award is going to go to Miyazaki and From Software, so we have that to look forward to as well. Again, didn't even make a game this year. Doesn't matter. But congratulations. Yeah, he's really great. Hi. Game Awards. Oh. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. She's the new Smash character. It's an interesting choice. Wow. Oh. Oh. Here you go. Here you go, fans. Well, well, they can't announce Joker again. They already did that. They don't make an announcement as much as they make a reminder that Joker is still in Smash. <laughs> <laughs> you guys haven't been playing him right. <laughs> uh, Try again. On the latest it's a 40 minute guide on playing Joker at a high level. <laughs> On the latest episode of the Min Max Show podcast, we count down uh, our favorite music from video games in 2020. A lot of people wrote in talking about Persona 5 Royal as the best soundtrack of the year, which, you know, it's probably fair, but it was tough to talk too much about because I don't know how much music is new, how much is old, all that stuff. Um, but it was a very fun episode of the podcast. Uh, Surreal, did you have some favorite tracks from this year that we didn't talk about on that episode, probably? Uh, yeah, I, I really liked... Some of the Haiti stuff, the the soundtrack overall didn't hit me as hard as previous Super Giant games. Really? But yeah, I mostly because I think they they use they have like a limited number of songs that they use consistently and kind of build on them, which is cool. But I don't know that I was like super blown away by any individual by like the soundtrack as a whole. But there were a couple of individual tracks. Uh, I think the hidden ones I think is probably my favorite song of that soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people wrote in uh, saying that was their favorite. Um, all right, other predictions. We got eight minutes. Does anybody have any bold predictions for what's going to happen in this show here? Big reveals. Uh, I think we'll see another trailer for Forbidden West. Oh. I think that'll be Sony. I think now that the PS5 is out, I think they're going to start hammering their exclusives pretty hard. And so I think yeah. Forbidden West is going to be the next big one for them. I, I saw some rumblings that they're going to talk about Ratchet and Clank. Which seems Ooh, maybe cool. more likely for the kind of like first half of the year game. Although, God, sure. Forbidden West, did they say that was also coming first half of the year? I don't think, I think that was later in the year, but I can see that, I could see that for the Game Awards, them bringing that out and then them being a little bit more forward with Crash because I think, I feel like I've seen two cinematic trailers for Crash and I'm like, I know what that game is. I don't know that I need another like, Unless they do like a dive and like, hey, here's a bunch of ways that this game is different. Here's something really substantial. Yeah, I think I'm okay on on knowing what what uh, Ratchet and Clank is at this point. Wait, <laughs> were, were you talking about Crash? Did I miss something? Or, sorry, I, I think I, I said Crash instead of Ratchet and Clank. Okay, all right. I was like, sorry, but then I was confused because the chat. I got the pl la the PlayStation mascots confused. I understand. Chat was screaming about Crash going to be in Smash, so I was confused if that was another Ooh. theme. Which is a solid guess. That would be really fun. Yeah, I think the other really popular one is Sora. That from Kingdom Hearts. The only one. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I think that's a licensing nightmare. And considering the fact that, like, yeah, Clouds in Smash, but there's not that many tracks musically from Final Fantasy. It seems like Square is kind of a tricky one to do those deals with. Even I'd imagine getting Hero in there is a mess because you have to get the, you know, the artist approval from the Dragon Quest series and all that stuff. 
Um, yeah. And so I'd imagine Sora is just a nightmare, but that would be interesting. There's no doubt yeah. it'd be interesting. If anything, Sora's hard to work with. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't want to say it, but everybody, there's rumblings around the industry that he's a real yeah. piece of work. He's the Chevy Chase of video games. The prequel to Near Automata. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, my predictions. I think we'll see Fulbright's uh, next game here. Developers have gone home into coma. It's been a while. They've been quiet, and this seems like the type of place where you would have that announcement. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I'm very curious to see what they do next after after Tacoma. I don't think ended up lighting the world on fire. Yeah, it's kind of a curious case. Um, I are we gonna get a and it's available now tonight for anything? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I think a shady part of me was announced during the pre-show, and I think that is available now. So does that do it for you, Leo? That doesn't count. Oh. Okay, it has to be during the main show or it doesn't count? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Sorry to those developers who worked hard on that game. It doesn't count as a game. <laughs> this, by the way, is a trailer for the the re the near remake. Yeah. The original near. Oh. Was that one good, or did they suddenly get good with Automata? It's um, uh, I that one was mixed. I think people people I think it became a cult favorite, but I I don't think reviews are very kind to it at the time. Yeah, it has its defenders, Leo. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah. if you want to join that pool of big near one defenders, now's your time to jump in, baby. Is this doing anything for you, Leo? Is it yeah, robot guys? Spears? Yeah, orbs. You're a big orb mm. guy. Yeah, I'm relating to a lot of those characters. Yeah, let me tell you about an orb called the Traveler, Leo. <laughs> it's been a special night already, and now I get to share with you another Game Awards first. Oh. The world premiere of a new band. You heard me correctly. They're yes. Their debut single, Follow Unfollow. Okay. Please welcome for the first time ever. What? OFK. Is this KDA? Oh. A new band. Is this a League of Legends band? Me and my three least talented friends. <laughs> it was finally time for us to start a band. What is this? Does have any relation to a game? I don't, it doesn't look like it. it. looks like this is part of a game. Yeah. What's the tie-in gonna be though? Is it just a new Vocaloid band like Hatsune Miku, but oh. four-piece? Yeah, I could see somebody convincing Jeff Keighley that was relevant and hip to do. Yeah, that they, makes sense. They're about to pop off over here. Corporations are realizing they can, <laughs> they can just conjure celebrities. <laughs> We've hit the breaking point. This looks like something from um, Night School. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Yeah, the Oxen Free developers. After party. Yeah, totally. What do we think of this track? I just want to dance, you know, I'm relating to that when I'm listening to it. Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling like one of those cats in the audience. It's got all the right ingredients for the next big hit. It's Dukes. tearing up the charts. Now, if this is part of a game, are they uh, eligible to win an award here if they were created here. That was the game of the year, Surreal. Oh, <laughs> you awesome. played it. <laughs> Just now. They, they played it for us, I guess. And that would be impossible without Leo, what do you think is the origin of calling a song a bop? And continued to is that something that was oh. in the 50s and then Other came back last year? Yeah, well, it was the Three Stooges. They would bop each other on the heads with hammers when they were excited by a, a new song they heard, like <laughs> when the Saints go marching in or whatever was hot at the time. <laughs> yeah, the new, that new song that came out in the 50s, the Saints go marching in. It was the first bop, legally. Fortnite. Hmm. Harizo in the chat says, I hope Wario gets a Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> Me too. I was a, uh, and it looks like he's a gonna win. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this stream. Although uh, Anna just came by the house to pick up like a piece of hardware, an Elgato thing. Which, by the way, Leo, have you ever met Leah or met Anna in real life? No. Isn't that crazy to think about? Seven feet tall, right? She's seven feet tall, and the weird thing, she has three feet. Cool. Yeah. yeah, never seen below the camera. Yeah, it's really wild. 
But anyways, she was like, you know, we were talking about the Game Awards, and I was talking about how much I'm looking forward to watching these, because I always enjoy them every year. And she's like, yeah, but it's all remote. Like, there's no audience. And it wasn't until that moment about 15 minutes ago that I realized, like, oh, yeah. It's going to be such a weird presentation here. I'm curious how it's going to look. They've got applause going, certainly. Yeah, but those are playing the sound of applause. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. What is that, actually? It's just somebody with a dial, right? You gotta be. That's weird. What would you do, though, Leo? Like, if you were producing an event like this, would you lean into it? Because you're damned either way. There's no good alternative yeah. besides just making it a, a direct, you know, an edited thing that doesn't need drama breaks and applause breaks, you know, dramatic pauses. Yeah. All right, uh, rapid fire predictions. Uh, I think we'll see Ueda. Uh, shout out the Colossus man. He'll be up there talking about his next game with uh, Epic. I think we'll see that Gearbox 1v1 game, the Project 1v1. I think this guy will be there. Um, I think, obviously, Dragon Age 4, they announced that it'll be there. And I think those are the big beats. Gotham Knights gameplay, I think we'll see. Anybody else have any predictions they want to get off their chest uh, real quick? Uh, what else might they announce? I think there'll be an... Uh, a, they said they're not going to do a trailer for Halo Infinite, did they? Um, I don't know. I doubt it because they got out there and kind of had those little teases on the blog the other day. So it seems like that kind of hit those beats. But there are rumors that Master Chief will be in Fortnite. And I do think that's a funny idea to have Master Chief and Kratos in Fortnite. I think that's so silly. I'm all for it. My only prediction is two or more ads for Cyberpunk during the stream. Yep. I think that's a very safe bet. Two plus. Best post-launch support It goes to Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> Best pre-launch support. <laughs> oh my god, he was ready to go. Hang on, so does that mean that all the winners already know? They must. That's what I was just thinking. Oh, that's yeah. weird. Yeah. Do you think they had embargoes for that stuff then? They were like, you cannot mention. Or do you think someone, yeah. at least one person was like, oh, I can't believe, wait a second. You can definitely well, they probably just have them anything. all do it. The Game Awards are yeah. Oh, everybody recorded so speech. gross. Oh, and then you just have to hang on to that video forever if you're a loser. <laughs> and that's why we want to make it clear. That's Patreon content, baby. Ooh, that's true. Pretend you're happy. Come on. You won. Here's Sentry, Age of Ashes. They have it here? Sentry? Do I know him? No, I don't think so. Ooh, Max Johnner says Tony Hawk 3 and 4 remaster. That's too soon. That was just this year, everybody. They, they, they announce games with just title cards all the time yeah. these days. You know? Yeah. Stephen A. Smith, skateboards in the frame. Is, what's up, gamers? Three and <laughs> or four, for Smash, Stephen A. Smith, skateboards into the frame. Mm. Oh. That's they where said, my imagination took that. Yeah, they wouldn't. They Sakurai says only video game characters. And let me tell you, Stephen A. Smith, he's a real character. <laughs> and he's on video. Yeah, and he got talking games. About games. <laughs> Sunny D22 <laughs> says on uh, his AMA, Keeley said that the winners don't know. The winners don't know? So there uh, was that live then? Uh, <laughs> maybe it is that Leo idea that he keeps screaming about that everybody needs to record their own. Hmm. I don't even stand by that idea. <laughs> I don't support it. And I don't <laughs> No, don't go! Become Jeff! What if she ripped off her mask, Mission Impossible style, and she was Jeff Keeler? They should do fun stuff like that. If it's going to be remote anyway, yeah. record some effects. Ooh, that is a fun idea. It's like, yeah, it, it, it's, uh, what are those called? Those transforming animal books? Animorphs? Animorphs. She, yeah, she just animorphs into Jeff Keeler. <laughs> it gets stuck halfway through because it's like halfway on its way to a feral yeah. lion then that's what jeff keely looks like <laughs> yeah jeff the, the feral lion keely is what they call him <laughs> the limit for animorphs is two hours you can stay in the animal form before <laughs> you stay true. permanently so Which, that would be a good to put a hard time limit on the presentation sometimes it goes a little long some years otherwise they get to biased Hello, everyone precisely let me know how the volume sorry, is, everybody. I'm distracted by your sneakers. I can't, I can't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> Please pay attention to my sneaks. It's been a tough year for everyone, I know. And normally, 
with the holiday season. We'd this is the stage that I live in. It's actually the inside of my body. You can see my bloodstream behind me. And connect around games, something that we all love. Games connect us. And I'm here in Los Angeles. And whether you're Are watching live zippers right now on his, in China, what is happening? Morning, is this some real Kingdom Hearts like stuff here? Hell, but he Wherever you are, to something to them, uh, but it's like India he, this year, he ran out of things to put globe, on himself. That's so where his military badges of honor would go. Of video games. Now to keep everyone safe tonight. Nominees are going to be joining ah! us live via Zoom oh my from all God. over the world. You can see them there. Hi, everyone. Leo, They're can you imagine producing this? Studios, China, Europe, Los Nightmare. Angeles, far and wide. And we will have all these guys. Imagine doing us, the uh, audio, like the AV checks for everybody. In the show. Oh, uh, we're going to be joined also by some very so much guests, completely Keanu outside of your control. Reeves, yeah. yeah. Here's every nominee Reeves, doing, Reeves, doing a video Tom stream. Holland, and like fall, guys, they will be removed. Uh, several Shep, candidates at a time as we announced the winner. We also have a very special well, performance by. by Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam. Uh, he will be in Seattle and the London Philharmonic what? Orchestra from Abbey Road Studios in London. Just keep listing impressive things. It is We're also going to play a YouTube video, a baby shark later. Always, Please look forward to that. Awards, Shout out to my Mount Rushmore, uh, uh, <laughs> Yellowstone National Park, special will be here. And Mona Lisa, still available to see the lure. Still, still available to Mona Lisa. Everyone is here. Or at least I thought everyone was here. Oh, are we just gonna get like out of the game? We're still expecting the... someone else Smash? to arrive. It's gonna be the Mona Lisa. World premiere. Mona. My wife's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> My wife doesn't even know the gender, but I'm about to announce it right now. There we go. They're all These here. These are all characters from Smash Brothers. Yeah, but Serial, they're looking at something. Don't you understand? Oh. It's the Plays boss that, that we don't know the name of. <laughs> Take him out, Pit. Another crossover. What are you? Is it going to just be Master Hand? No. Wait, they no. retconned Banjo Kazooie into this opening. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh! <laughs> All right. You got me. I told you they'd never do another square tie-in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if he gets cut open and it's Sora instead, though? Oh, that would be the most heartbreaking moment. That's... Yeah, I was hoping he would move out of the way. This is becoming Urgies. This is fantastic. He looks prettier. <laughs> That's so fun. There's... If I may, though. If I may. You may. Love it. But, like, the idea of out of all the Final Fantasies, they double down on Seven. Seven, like, yeah. I, I love... Uh, Seven's my favorite, obviously. No no qualms here. But it is like, hey, man, there's a lot of other characters you could throw in there. But if you're looking at the list of popular characters, I guess that's what we I got think, here. Yeah, I think, like, three characters from Seven would probably top the list of most popular Final, Final Fantasy characters. At and who Square is interested in having be, like, a promotional thing, right? Yeah, like, exactly. They want to promote what they got going on. And now I would poo-poo the... You know, the big uh, one wing black angel wings version of Sephiroth there. Because, like, ah, eh, the movie, not too crazy about it. But now we know it's relevant again from the Seven remake. So now the one winged angel Sephiroth with the black wing has to be cool. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god in heaven! Oh, that's so okay, great. good. That's... God! Really good, Smash! You can't beat these trailers. <laughs> They're pretty good. This is basically Kingdom Hearts. It's like, here's two Final Fantasy characters. Meanwhile, here's like this ridiculous character who doesn't belong, like Woody in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Yeah. Who's operating on cartoon logic. Yeah. Frickin' fantastic. You got us. You got us. Zero rumors that I saw of Sephiroth. They keep that thing locked down. No. no. In Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. This Final Smash! Oh, Mike. Oh, weird. That was 2D. That was 2D. That looks so bizarre. Cool. Oh, wow. It's this month, too. Jeez. February 2018. Awesome. Been for a while. 
crowd goes wild. Yo, one to ten. How much of a fan is uh, Jeff of Sephiroth? You probably know her She's freaking three. She's an Oscar-winning actor. Jeff has the one wing thing. Joining us now, live on. As a one-winged angel, I can really relate. <laughs> Hello. Tonight, I am honored to present the award this for is best live? performance. Among the Who's nominees is an inclusive group of talented actors filling vastly different roles in games that are nothing alike. Prove you're live. These artists are nominated tonight for what they <laughs> share. Pull up a newspaper. <laughs> it says Sephiroth and Smash on the front page of the New York Times. That's amazing. <laughs> Here are the nominees for best performance. Best performance. Did you like uh, Jin's performance, Surreal? Stupid boy. I watched it and I uh, played um, most of it in Japanese. Oh, so I don't know if that was the voice actor. If that was the English or the Japanese voice. I'm guessing it's the English. I think it is. Let me know if the volume's okay again, everybody. And the Game Award goes to... God, this is so weird. I know. Laura Bailey as Abby. All right. Solid. Yeah. Solid. Who's gonna argue with that? <laughs> just watch like the four other people. They, they cut to them as they're disappointed. And this just lingers on them. Like, okay, now, oh, let's see them all drop from the Skype call. The original uh, Last of Us and of Troy and Ashley's Walk out of the room. It. Um, I fell in love with Joel and Ellie. Ashley Johnson just so like starts like clearing her desk. No surprise from... to me that uh, <laughs> Abby's role within this story has been met with such. Uh, I like Laura Bailey, responses. but Leo. But, um, to have been able am to I just the coldest SOB on earth for just never believing it when character. actors are crying when they accept rewards? <laughs> this is what they do. They have trained their entire life to empathy is put on an emotion. That's what it is. Eternally grateful for. They've trained their entire life for it. Now they're being recognized in the highest awards in their field, the Game Award by Jeff. Okay. I don't know. I've. Sometimes I doubt it. Sometimes I don't. Did Certainly in this weird ass honor, setup, I doubt it a little more than usual. Okay. So this award means so much. Um, thank you to Neil and Tally and the entire team for giving me the opportunity and for there we go. all of the support okay. and the guidance along the way. Um, but I don't know. I'd probably Patrick cry. Patrick and Ian and Grace yeah. for. Uh, You're spending like years on these did. projects, the, especially. The, the that is true. And Abby would not have been as impactful without you by my side. Yes, um, real. Let her have real emotions, and let her leave her phone to... alarm on. <laughs> sure, I don't know, decades of working together. All, all, in this I wish her the best. We've been, we've been allies, we've been enemies, and we've been everything in between. Go play that piano. Uh, and every single time, <laughs> this reminds me of a ditty. When the saints go marching in, you can drop a link in the chat. And to Ashley. Who I love so much. Um, I don't know what else to Everyone's say. Everyone's texting her congratulations. Um, I think you should probably be giving the speech right now. <laughs> yeah, totally. Like, you're amazing, and your your strength and your power and your vulnerability and your performance left me speechless. Fun fact: um, When I visited Naughty Dog I for the you, Uncharted <laughs> Four husband, cover story, Travis, or Lost Legacy, Laura Bailey was there, and I met her in the lobby, and she was going up to have her first conversations about being in Last of Us Part Two. Um, a fun, fun little and coincidence. Wow. Like, oh wow, look at this! Obviously, you could have stopped her. Voted, thank you for yeah. your support and for <laughs> Don't your do it someday. You could have been Abby. And for <laughs> allowing yourself to go on this journey with Abby and with me. Thank you. I love you. Thank you, Laura Bailey. <laughs> thank you, Laura. Congratulations, Laura. I think I heard eye messages coming in for people congratulating you as that was going on. It's uh, it so great Jeff to have insane. everyone here celebrating. It's like a telltale text message. Right? Like in the background, Jeff like, have everyone turn off their notifications. Twitch, where yeah. we have drops for <laughs> I will not have this night ruined for me. We both have world premieres <laughs> coming up uh, later in the show and throughout the night. We will also be interactive on Twitch. You can predict who you think will win using a Twitch extension. And first up, best on Do you guys like that game, backdrop? So go and vote now. Lock in your predictions. All right. Well, even with everything going on, it does feel like on, we're inside Jeff One Brand. of those special yeah. years that sees the launch all of, of new next-gen consoles. Right. And with that, brings a whole new generation of games. Tonight, we are like honored that he has, to have, they have to one keep building, team, like, a new team of veterans, the reveal in the, the very first details mm. about their ambitious and exciting new project right here at the Game Awards. Enjoy. We will. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty much since the day I started, there's been a really clear 
player fantasy. I think the thing that, that makes it different from a lot of first person games is it's not just first about person? shooting. Eco sci-fi is a term that we use. Future fiction. I prefer shy the class of sci-fi. There's been this ecological disaster. These corporations came in and it's they developed new technology. I don't think they're sad. And on the surface, everything's Everything's pretty great. We're still early in development, but we're really excited with where things are going. We wanted to share a cinematic piece. Sunny D's calling it that it's Skate 4. World. Oh, this is the <laughs> initiative. The new Microsoft Studio. Oh, that's Gerald Gallagher. Well, now you have my attention. Perfect dark. Okay. Perfect dark. That's what if the dark were perfect? I remember when everything were even changed. better. <laughs> the floods, the storms, the fires, people dying in the streets. The corporations gave us solutions. A better world. Anthem? And we welcome them into our lives. <laughs> they did the anthem me. But the laws of nature aren't meant to be broken. We need to franchise it, so we just we just bought the we cheapest one we could get. <laughs> cool world. What rank two is happening? Data Dine! This is it! Was that the Perfect Dark logo? Yeah, I just said Data Dine logo. I hey. think. Am I nuts? Yes, absolutely. You, find the answer you think they call it zero two? Shut up! Agent Dark. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hell yes! Need another one. Surreal. What is quotation mark? Yeah, perfect dark end quote. <laughs> or, or double dash? Because that, that, that looks like a. There like you when go. They call perfect dash dark from the initiative of Xbox. Dash. Very exciting to have that announced. All right, well, we're going to go right into That's... another game. Slow announcement down! For the first Slow time down, right here <laughs> Gailey. At the game I refuse. Yeah. That entire premise just felt like how can we really make this seem as unperfect darky as possible before zigging right at the last second? Mm -hmm. Man. You guess it like almost immediately. Yeah. Good God. Okay, this is gonna be Conquer. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is their Left 4 Dead uh, inspired game. What was it? Back for Blood? Is that what it's called? That's too many. Yeah, I don't think you, I don't Can't think they can keep up with that, how many zombies there are. Also, they're just running, they're running past, past them. Yeah. <laughs> right. Remember? No worm-ridden son of a bitch is gonna stop. I don't like worms. <laughs> the game is fine. But the concept, not so much. <laughs> Some sort of worms Armageddon going on here. I'd argue. Oh, funky. <laughs> I'm going to need at least one other person to help me out of this. <laughs> I'm excited for Turtle Rock. I like that team. So it's just Left 4 Dead inspired. Heavily, yeah. Man, heavily. This is my favorite hoodie. A little club soda will take that right out. Watch out. You thought that was the tank character? <laughs> <laughs> this one's called the APC. <laughs> oh, 
yet they keep shooting. Okay, cool. I think it's tough to make a cinematic trailer for that type of game really stand out. Back for blood, and I'm now joined by Chris Ashton of Turtle Rock Studios. Uh, this is pretty exciting for us Left 4 Dead fans. Of course, uh, you guys are known for all the amazing it. work. Left 4 Dead, and now you're building uh, this, uh, building on the legacy with this new zombie co-op yeah. yeah. shooter. Uh, what's new? What can yeah. you tell us about it, Chris? I want them to swap well, shoes. We wanted to do more and bigger, right? We wanted to have more playable characters. Uh, we wanted to keep everyone's what? favorite more part, story. the naming convention. Uh, but we also <laughs> more and bigger than what, though? Of zombies to fight, right? Left 4 Dead, but dude. Also or Evolve, whatever you want. So well, what franchise is it? 20 foot Come tall uh, zombie monstrosities that are definitely going to take you know, the help of your friends in order to defeat. All I'm right, not, well, um, it's great I'm not cool when it comes to sneakers, but... It sounds but like, I, I think you've prepared are a those cool? surprise for everyone watching, no. right? Oh, yeah, like, uh, movies are cool, but uh, gameplay is Asking keen, that right? isn't cool. So let's see some of that. That's true. Okay, here we go. Here's the <laughs> gameplay reveal of Back for Blood. Let's oh, see great. some of that. Perfect. Gameplay. The idea of uh, some of the enemies being 20 feet tall is pretty interesting. Yeah. Which they did master with the ball. Hold on, I'm gonna draw a giant monster in, in ink here for, for a while and spend the next two hours doing this. Ready? <laughs> Not one for speeches, so how about we just go kill some rip? Do it! Ha, Level starts it. in a safe house. You always start missing a couple shots, that's the key. It's interesting that there was that news story earlier today, and I don't know if you saw it, where the other co-creator of Left 4 Dead, he... God, he joined some other studio. I forget who it was exactly. But it's interesting that that story broke today, probably because they knew that this was going to be announced and they wanted to not just confuse everybody after the fact. Uh -huh. See, why do you pop that guy in three shots? That was weird in the trailer. It's weird that they did it again here. They, you do aim down the sides, which is different from the hey, Yeah. Yeah. And I haven't seen a lot of uh, melee, so I don't know if that, if it's kind of that same thing. So like, you can only shove the zombies like three times before your stamina meter kicks in. It is often. Mm -hmm. CT Schmidlag asked the pivotal question: Do people want more of these? I feel like the people kind of do, but none of them. I think Vermintide is pretty yeah. good at, at being back. And then there was a World War Z, which I, I played some with Kyle when he was in there. I didn't hate it, but yeah. I do wonder if this is just like so many people have played so much Left 4 Dead that people are on it. I don't know. Yeah, like GTFO is another one. I feel yeah. like they do keep coming out and keep not uh, making a huge mark. Yeah, yeah I, it's like, I feel yeah. even the best ones like GTA V. I remember people feel, like talking about, like, "Hey, this game's actually pretty good," and I'm playing it with my friends, and then you never hear about it again. Are you saying those friends are disappearing? Those uh, those friends GTA would yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's a real shame. Lost a lot of good friends there. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the outcry's been heard that we want more Left 4 Dead, but I feel like quietly fans have been getting it if you just there want to search go, around a little blood, bit. But June mm. next year. Alpha next week. Crazy. All right. Very exciting. Well, tonight we're crazy. celebrating games, and we've got awesome discounts on many of tonight's nominees with the Game da, 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 Awards sale Xbox, PlayStation. You think he can move Nintendo too fast and reveal that his shoes are actually Steam. green screen? We also have the Game Awards Not Festival, a chance to play yeah. upcoming games like Little Nightmares 2. He's careful not to and move. Some of the games are also available. I, I like um, GeForce I like the color sure of his that out. You can stream on any clothes. With no downloads Matches well with his hair. Well, like that dark blue, black tie. I'm not a fashionista, but... I think that's Phil cool looking. Orchestra and Eddie Vedder, but right now, two years it's going to be weird. He tried to have a, a little blue up top with the shirt, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Sneakers are just too different of a blue. And his baby blue but eyes. That, let's hear from mid yeah. Josh Holmes. And but again, that maybe that's what people like about sneakers. Thanks, and we I do have a no really idea. exciting mm -hmm. update for you, but first, I just want to thank the many thousands of players who've been testing the game with us. Over yeah, the is past Scavengers year. out? Your feedback and your support means the world to us. I think it's been in like a really limited alpha. Today, I have big news to share. Explorers. It's time. 
you'll face off against many others. There are countless strategies and paths to success. Strategies. Find the ones that get you back alive. This is where the real fun starts. I've been preparing this for years. Now, I need you. This is that one Leo that's on like the impossible tech where it's all in the cloud. Oh, that yeah. impossible tech. You know, it did remind me of the Darwin project. Oh, there we go. Now it's gonna be a good time, isn't it? I played around with this E3, I think, in 2019. And this looks distinct, very different from now. Oh, really? At least visually. Hmm. Close beta starts now! Now, uh, I gotta go. All right, so there you have it. The PC closed beta for Scavengers starts right now. If you're part That's of closed. our community, you can play with your existing Steam key. Yeah, there's something weird about We're like right now, get into this closed gate for new players. So go to playscavengers.com. We have new stock over at Newegg for the next we'll two minutes. In the gate. <laughs> Add to cart. What do we got here? Oh, didn't they announce this at the PlayStation thing? It was like Robin Hood, Prince of Co-op or whatever. That's what they call it. Robin for Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You, that's oh a good range to use a bow in, but hey, it works. Co-op stealth is truly one of the best genres. Not done very often. Counting, counting down, you know, to do it, doing a shot with a friend and taking out two guys at the same time. Yeah. One of the best feelings gaming can provide. There we go. Play it hood. Early. Wait, early on May 7th. So that's in the that's Leprechaun Back to the Hood universe. <laughs> it is, technically, yeah. yeah. People say it looks a lot like Valhalla. Yeah, you know. Oh, hello. It's hot right now. We decided to drop one of these randomly here. <laughs> Try and stop us. Do you okay, like? Okay, if anyone's bored by this, I'm gonna do the one chip challenge on stream real quick. Okay. What is it? What's the one chip challenge? Oh. It's a spicy chip. Is this actually a, a one chip challenge chip? One chip challenge is just where you eat one chip, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, so, it's when you pop and then you stop. Yeah, so everybody keep your <laughs> eyes on Leo. Most people can too. Yeah, make sure Leo doesn't sneak in any chips at any point. If at any point in the chat you see Leo getting a chip near his mouth, everybody send up the alerts. We're going to stop him. <laughs> but if you don't say it in the chat, he's going to eat that other chip and break his streak. Kind of a Door of the Explorer scenario. Yeah. <laughs> Leo, no eating a chip. Yep. You know those magic words. <laughs> Anyways, Instagram and the Game Awards have teamed up for six new AR effects you can share to Instagram Reels. I played with them yesterday. We at make home today. And is that the, to the Game motto Awards profile of Check Instagram? You can transport oh, yourself to Final Fantasy VII's train station, transform what? into the Doom Slayer, don the mask of okay, the well, Ghost these aren't of Tsushima, up. I'm confused. sneak through The Last of Us, or even become Zagreus. Hey, from um. Greece. What was own, that head over to the Game Awards on Indie Instagram. World sequence? The they just showed a lot of good games that are available on the Switch. That was just a commercial? And I'll be back later to I'm show off some of your beautiful ad, creations. Yeah. Oh boy. Speaking of ads, alright. 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 Can I have a cyberpunk car? <laughs> I Is that the game. cyberpunk car? Seems that way. Not the one that I have right now. Mine is actually just an NPC that's T posing that I've been driving around for the game Ooh, so far. So that <laughs> would actually kick ass. Ooh, December 11th, Cyberpunk Day. Uh, does this count as one of Leo's predicted cyberpunk hey, yo, ads? Forza 
Cross, Cyberpunk, and later Keanu sure. Reeves, Johnny Silverhand himself will be joining us to present the Best Direction Awards, so stay tuned for that. I want to uh, see Keanu Reeves back. home. Next, we're going to present the best <laughs> Show us his home. Community thinks Fortnite is going to win uh, that Thank you to Zach Owens and well, Alex Crum, Connor Whitney, right. Swiggity Swoo, um, and Joseph Doughty for supporting Minimax on Patreon, game, by the way. Um, Serial, which is your favorite out of Zach Owens, Alex Crum, Connor Whitney, and Swiggity Swoo? I think Swiggity Swoo, I think, yeah. Yeah. just on the face of the name. Yeah, I thought it was a Zach Owens guy, and then I read his name. So thanks for the support, everybody. And you can always change your name to try and win that next time it comes up. Right. Better luck next time, everybody. Uh, Freddy, Hard Candy's wondering if he missed Elden Ring. Not yet. They have not <laughs> even mentioned it once. Hmm. All right, well, now it's time to reveal the winner. The nominees are joining guys, us here. Drinking Hi, a guys. Beer. All right, here we go. Uh, and the winner is... God, that's uncomfortable. The Game Award goes to No Man's Sky. Wow! Oh, that was Sean Murray. <laughs> what? <laughs> Spit take. Come on, Sean. I was not expecting that. Uh, amazing. <laughs> He's still I like the best of them. It's normally Twitch is right, Jeff. It's normally Fortnite. It's always Fortnite that beats us. Uh, you should go back shit, and read and redo uh, thank that. Thank you so much. Um, we're really lucky. You know, we get to come to work every day and make games. No Man's Sky is such a wonderful game to work on, you know? Um, it's not always easy though. Uh, so moments like this, they mean a lot, you know? This I don't means a feel lot comfortable me. seeing him not wearing team. plaid. It Thank kinda, you so much. It's just Thank not right. Thank you community for continuing to support us. Yeah. Thanks. Well, it's been a rough year for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Wipe the stripes Murray, off no, his shirt. Wipe myself <laughs> off plaid. <laughs> now, every year leading uh, into the show, there's always a lot of speculation, a lot of games that you might be anticipating. 92 Nice and Easy says, oh, I guess we know it's live now, huh? Expecting. Yeah. Like yeah. This one. That would be a weird pre recorded video. <laughs> it's hard not to love Sean Murray, yeah. despite it all. Despite it all. Very sweet like guy. Despite everything. It's still Sean Murray. <laughs> Elden Ring! No. Dead space? That looks like Wait. what the... No, I'm wrong. I'm going to stop saying that. I feel like that's what their characters in the game scum look like that, but I could be completely wrong. Hey, man, get up. Star Wars 1313? Did you see the back of his shirt? You see this? Something ain't right. Just wants to scare him. Is this Last of Us 2 multiplayer? No way. I thought it'd be a little less futuristic if it's the Last of Us. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Just go with those controls. This is Black Iron to transport ship Carol. You are clear for landing. The way Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Who said it was going to be the Callisto Protocol? Serial, I think, was calling it yeah, earlier. Nice, I, I dude. I thought it was going to come in 2022. It's my favorite year. That's where you were tweeting the hashtag Callisto was the game. Yeah, CallistoTheGame.com. Oh. This is the uh, PUBG studio. Uh, so this takes place in the PUBG? Universe? I don't know. Maybe. I'm feeling some Dead was that player Space unknown? Vibes, the there's little wonder why you know him from his work on Dead Space and Call of Duty. Here's the CEO of Striking Distance Studios, Glenn Schofield. Hey, Glenn. Hey, Glenn. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Well, the Callisto Protocol has been in development for um, <laughs> thanks, over a Jeff. year and a half with a team of well over 100 people on it. It's a single player, third person. My webcam only seems to work in portrait mode. mode. I don't know what. Also, it only 20, works 20, if I'm drifting closer and closer to the sun. <laughs> Our goal is to make the single most scariest game 
for PC and consoles. Uh, and we're so Don't do it, Glenn. It's a curse it. on the world. Well, oh, ready, awesome. Glenn. Thank you very much, Glenn. Single player, third person. Next year. So right, very Dead Space inspired. That's Warhammer interesting. Yeah. K Dark Tide is a four-player co-op game from Fat Shark, the developers behind Fat Warhammer Shark. Vermintide 2. Well, tonight they're sharing a first look at the gameplay. Check this out. Okay, Jeff. All right, Jeff. If you insist. Uh, by the way, if anybody supports us on Patreon during this stream, we will give them the shout out of a lifetime. Uh, Serial will shriek your name louder than he's ever shrieked anything in his life. I mean, I, I have a meter that shows me how long, how loud I've shrieked. Right, right. So I'll try to exceed it. Move over, rats. It's human's turn to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensing a theme to the Game Awards so far. Not, not Four player co-op. Four player co-op and an emphasis on shoes. You know, he put those shoes on explicitly to get Jeff Keighley weird shoes trending, and it's working. Yeah, I, I don't want to dial it down to that, but that is exactly what is in my head that really weirds me out about Keighley. He knows how to press internet buttons. Yeah, and, it's not a not an evil thing, but... But what is it? It's not on. evil, it's... Cynical? Hollow? What's the word I'm looking now for? Now it is time to recognize some hmm. other winners in the category of best Exploited art direction. It? Contrived. The are Final Fantasy VII Remake. Cool. Ghost of Tsushima. Remember that time Hades. that Sephiroth stabbed Mario, the but then he didn't actually wisps. stab Mario? He just pinned his little overall. He respected Mario too much to kill him. Like <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima. Congratulations. I'd kill you last. Punch. For best action game, the nominees are. Maxi Honor says, "What if I'm already a patron? Could I up my pledge for a tiny shout out?" I mean, yeah, and it's, it'll be half the shout out, but you can absolutely do and that. Thank you for your support. Is Hades. Congratulations, wow. Super Giant. Yeah. Wow. In the category best, best rar. VR, AR, oh. the nominees are <laughs> Dreams, The Dinosaurs, and Jurassic Park, Marvel's Iron Man VR, Star Wars Squadrons, and The Walking Dead: Saints and Sinners. Ooh. And the Game Award oh, goes Saints to and Sinners is going to take this. Half-Life Alex. There we go. Oh, Lord. Keeley's little baby the game got it. Way to go. Game. Those nominees are Brought to you by five, Scorpion Spearing the category again. FIFA 21. <laughs> That's right. NBA 2K21 and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. And the game award goes to Tony Hawk's Tony Hawk. Pro Skater 1 and 2. Not even yes. fair. Congratulations, Tony. And it's racing Being because there. of like the and downhill the levels. Most anticipated mm -hmm. game. <laughs> Voted on on Twitter this year. In speed run mode, which I made a video about. Elden That's true, which I got watched later. I said it. God of War sequel. Halo Infinite. God of War Horizon sequel. Horizon Forbidden West. Resident Evil Village. Elden and Ring. And The Legend of Zelda Breath Ooh. of the Wild sequel. <laughs> it, it's technically the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm sorry, Keely, you're disqualified from Elden this Elden Ring. Show. Congratulations to From Software. <laughs> All right, this next game comes from the creators of Gone Home. It's like you want an award, the right? The company and Annapurna Interactive oh. present one part road trip, one part mystery. There it is. With two there you go, Anza. Voices. Thank you. Check it out. Thank Great you. show for you so far. Please, everyone, please relax in the chat. Please. Of course Annapurna publishes their next game. That makes complete sense. Yeah. My name is Testavine. And the of world course. is passing me by. Yep. Check. I guess My as I get a little tower. older, I'm starting to feel how things change. They decline and go away. That's how it was with my grandma. I loved her so much. I thought I knew her better than anyone. But looking through her old things, we found Ooh, cool. hints of something she never told us about. Hmm. A man who wasn't my grandfather. Someone saw Spider-Verse. burglary ring. Some sort of lost fortune? We can't ask her about these things anymore, so... We have to go looking for the answers ourselves. My mom and I are out on the road, searching. I don't know what we'll find. I'm sick of all these mom games. Whatever it is, I know we'll find it. Together. Oh. I'll be the mom game guy. Hope and red. Oh, Carrie, Carrie Russell. Russell. Interesting. Cool. Don't do it. No, 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 Leo. Chat was screaming. Don't do it. Did do you do it? it? God, right, I'm, sorry, I'm, really I'm sorry, Chat. I'm sorry, Chat. I should have looked. I should have looked. Oh, no. Impact on the gaming community. 
These are our global gaming oh, citizens. Oh, that is devastating. Our first honor tonight. <laughs> is Latin X God, gaming. where Check were you guys? You're too story. distracted by Gary Russell. <laughs> the door of the Explorer That's audience wouldn't miss something like that. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Uh, by the way, Maxwell John are just upped his pledge on Patreon, so you know what that means. Serial, give him half that shriek, baby! What's the name? Maxwell Johnner. I was often. Maxwell Johnner, congratulations! Thank you so much. I think about. Hang on, that game award award, award of this shout out. I am today. Hang on, Serial, that was half a shriek. Um, I don't want anyone to go through that anymore. I don't. I don't. And welcome Come to on. Shriek. Max in Gaming. Half a shriek, Serial. Come on, half a shriek. Our voices. What was the name again? Maxwell Johnner. That are dead. Maxwell Johnner. Other people. No, but a shriek. A shriek, sir. No. That's like half a shriek, though. That's like half the decibels of a shriek. Do you need to Google the definition of a shriek? No longer just about. It's a yeah. I'm I'm talking louder than normal. I don't think that's shriek. Definition of a shriek. Well, half a shriek is like open to interpretation. Oh, that, that was a shriek. Just knowing that there's somebody in there doing half of what it. you want to do. It's it's a high pitched piercing sound. It. So it's give right. us that's half half the loudness of that. Okay. All right. Well, there you go, Maxwell. You got it. That's just for you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> I searched shriek divided by two, and hey, it's not helping. My name is Anna. <laughs> I am the executive Dude's producer of Valorant, and I cannot believe that it has been only. Oh my God! Joel Coast supports us at the twenty dollar tier on Patreon. All right, Serial, give us that full shriek, baby. to a home. What's the name? Are you were cutting Joel out? Coast. Joel Coast. Yep. Joel Coast. <laughs> And that's a shriek. Look it up in your Merriam-Webster, because it's what Serial just did. Thanks, Joel. More of a military Joel. marching order. <laughs> we'll announce the winner before the end of the show, and then we'll Thanks, all Joel. their stream together. Again, I want to thank you all for playing Valorant, and I'll leave you with just a taste of what we've all done. Jesus Christ, what's that nightmare behind her? The potential of Valorant. I love it. Let's go, baby! I got this. What's um? Leo, one to ten. What's the success level of Valorant right now? Ten being Fortnite. Yeah. Six. Yeah, I think. With that's five great. being halfway to Fortnite. Yeah. In terms of like, uh, like popularity. Yeah, I'd just success. I'd say there's seven. You think it's doing well? I think it's doing pretty well. It's one of those oh, games that's like so engineered to be a hit. Yeah, but it, it seemed to be catching on fine. I just I've never heard anybody talk about it on Twitter, but you know, yeah. Hang on, Serial. Everyone's calling better. you out in the chat for kind of half-assing that shriek. Earlier today, we tweeted out that there is a special event happening. Oh, right I mean, now. the next one, I guess, will go a little louder. All right, a little bit louder now, as a wise man once said. So next person to support us on Patreon, we will up that shriek level. For hey, Hanson, if you want to show me what a shriek is like, you're welcome to it. <laughs> I will, for the next supporter. I will for the next supporter. We'll see you Guys, goes. we're missing Wooper Watch. Oh, crap. <laughs> Where's the Wooper? We've also been told you could encounter a shiny Wooper if you're lucky, so open up Pokemon Go and catch the Wooper while you watch this evening. Oh, <laughs> this really is the Oscars of gaming. <laughs> <laughs>Is this uh, coming to consoles? It is. Yeah, it's already coming to Switch. I wonder if they're just going to announce that it's available now or if they're going to say it's also on PS4 and Xbox. Hmm. Oh. The great city at the end of the world huh. is waiting. Interesting. So, get out there, solve the murder with a unique Seeing skill system new. at your disposal. Carve I can't wait to play through that on Switch. Across an award -winning Did you play it originally, Leo? I didn't finish it. But I love the 10 hours or so I played. Seems like a lot of small print for, for Switch. Welcome Handheld at least. That's true. Baby. Sure thing, champ. Lead the way. If you could only find your gun. It's okay. With full voice acting for every single one of the city's beautiful people. Really? Wow. Um, yes. I'm going huh. to unplug the microphone. Okay? Interesting. And leave. A bigger mark behind That's a big you move. In new yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. 
I'm not, you can handle it. I mean, it's it's definitely a, like a huge shift, but I don't know that I. I think a lot of it was the way that you kind of created the characters for yourself a little bit by like kind of imagining your own voices for them. So I wonder if the voice acting Enjoy might have kind of the hurt definitive it a little bit. Like, yeah. That's it. That's it. I this trust them to make a decision like that, but I'm with you. It's it hits me as very odd. Yeah. Players. So it's yeah. So it's PS4 and PS5. It's a free upgrade. God bless them. That's cool. I'll play that game again. How much voice acting was there originally? Not a ton. I know that like the, the there were a few characters that were voice acted, but it was pretty rare. Hi, Jeff. Welcome back yeah. to the Game Awards. That's so exciting. Disco Elysium News. You may remember last year they were, I think, they won the most awards out of any game. Oh, yeah, that's true. Game Awards, so that was exciting. Awesome news. Cool. All right. Well, now we're going to talk about BioWare's Dragon Age franchise. It is known for its story and its characters. And right now, <gasps> the team at BioWare wanted to give you a little sneak preview of what to expect in the next and their game and where it will Cinderella take Cinderella Castle. Enjoy. This was promised to be here, right? This isn't a surprise. Yeah. The Dragon Age stuff. Yeah, very strongly teased, if not promised. Yeah. Life and limb. But there's always someone bent on breaking the world. And it's Bioware. Or is it just Biolives? I don't know. It's time for a new hero. I agree. Prophecy. Remember all those story things you like? We're not doing those. <laughs> this looks a little more stylized than I was expecting. Back. I've got your back. Demons, dragons, dark spawns. Even the dread wolf. Even the freaking dread wolf thing? God dang. Oh, yeah. That's the character people talk about. This is your story. Name? Name? No Dragon subtitle. It's like Dragon Age. It can't possibly be anything other than Dragon Age. Wow. I like that. Oh, if they stick with that. I totally thought they were, there was going to be a subtitle. All right, there. we're back, and I'm I'm trapped in our set now. I don't know what's going on. All right, well. <laughs> Who designs these wacky we'll things? And an exciting new tactical squad Who pays based them exorbitant amounts of money to do this? Set in the endless universe. <laughs> Here is another new game announcement. There we I go. didn't know what was going on in rehearsal, either. <laughs> Uh, are you cool with the engram shaped prism? Is that is, is that cool? Well, that guy's got four arms, so that's not normal. A new digital band. <laughs> Boing. Do you think they'll announce a VTuber next year? There's a new VTuber to get really obsessed over and post clips off on Twitter. Yes. Will there be a bet a best VTuber category next year? Oh my god. Probably. I'm afraid so. It pains me to say it, but I'm afraid there will be, yes. <laughs> Who is Amplitude again, Surreal? Do you know that name for the studio? Amplitude? Sounds no. familiar. You might be thinking of Amplitude the game? Oh, that's right. And now I want that game to develop more games like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Cool to see Sega funding something like this. This freaky thing. Well, not that freaky. Sonic's about to warp in. Oh. <laughs> Those shoulder pads are not joking around. My god. Oh, wow. I didn't expect it to look like this. Yeah. Yeah. Were those rats? Can we add that to our list of oh. rat kill during these trailers? I think so. That's cool. There are other endless games, right? All right, uh, endless. Um, yeah, yeah, because I like a dragon. This angle. Comes from South Korea. I'm sorry, sir. Was Desert, your joke? The new open world. <laughs> like, now you're looking at me from this angle. <laughs> finding this every camera place. <laughs> in depth, story driven single player. Maybe even think of Dungeon of the Endless, setting. the what existing game. Oh, no. When I saw footage, Endless Dungeon. This is a beautiful <laughs> and merciless world. Of Crimson Desert. That's not a real name. Why are they making up all these Horrible. names for games on this stream? It says actual in-game footage, so 
I think the, the Crimson Desert guys expect your apology. Okay. I think these guys need to look up the definition of a frickin' desert. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Leo. Thanks, man. This show sucks! This show sucks! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I want to live there. In the Crimson Desert? I think I do. Yeah, actually, I was looking yeah. on uh, Zillow, and there's a lot of affordable stuff. Yeah. A lot of, lot of real estate to claim. Rivers. Okay, that's looking kind of crimson. <laughs> Get one crimson Get shot. <laughs> hmm. Two people. You know what that means. They can make babies. <laughs> that's just one of the, sure. the, point, the points they talk about in the trailer. Make babies. <laughs> <laughs> that was an orc, right? Yeah. That was Shrek. <laughs> but there's only one in the world. It's like a Where's Waldo. We just, we found it. This is the Shrek MMO. <laughs> and, and the whole point is to find Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> you're a person who's never met Shrek and you're a big fan. You hear a lot of good things about him. <laughs> Somebody once told you about this ogre. Oh, Shrek, he just came by here. Like 100 miles to the west. Go on. I've been looking for Shrek for years. Nary a shred of Shrek. <laughs> that thing he uses toilet paper in the first scene in his outhouse. Stop. I wrote that book. And I'm here for revenge. <laughs> now, is there a missing audio track or... Shrek! Now, now pretend it... <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> I'll never tell you. I'll murder a man to see Shrek. <laughs> what the hell? This looks like it's got a budget. I'll give it that. <laughs> Don't do it. Ooh, that's cool looking. Wait. Wait. Oh, now I gotta read it. ULA. Yeah, like turned into like Stanley Parable for a second there. <laughs> yeah, we've got combat. We've got combat. Let us know in the chat what do you think about this game? Scale of 1 to 10. How pumped are you right now to be seeing Crimson Desert? Weird for it to even have that tackle, like Valhalla. The sprinting tackle. But it looks like there are more grabs and throws in general. Ooh, Xavier Perez is a 7.5. Have they announced who's behind this? Keely. He's behind oh, it all, the entire award show. I made this game, check it out. <laughs> uh, I don't think they have, no. People well, are kind of- loving the wrestling moves that are mixed in here. Yeah. <laughs> that's like their claim to fame, that's interesting. Corner in the market. Almost makes me think it's like a Dragon's Dogma suit or something. But you already know the name. If, the, if I didn't know that this was Crimson, Crimson Desert, a real title of a real game, I would have guessed this was like dragon stock. Mm -hmm. Just with more boring enemies. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's interesting. <gasps> Jehovah starts with an eye. He's not fine. There he is. There he is. <laughs> oh, he was right there. Go back. Go back. Go back. You found him. If I can just find Donkey, he can lead me to Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> this game's got everything. Swing on a this rope and climb. Leo, I look forward to this being your third favorite game of the year when it comes out in 2022. <laughs> what the hell is that? You do. I'm just impressed when they keep adding like gameplay surprises yeah, I know. to the trailer. Now there's a whole castle building sim. Physics. Well, they spent all their budget on these features. I wonder they can only afford some sound effects. It's, well, it'll get oh. voice acting with the definitive edition, like disbelief. We got we got the guy who makes that one, the mummy trailer to do our sound mixing. <laughs> <laughs> what does he say in the plane again? He has one line that he repeats in the trailer. Oh, I wish I could remember it. <laughs> is that the one? <laughs> what is? Oh, you, oh, god. Oh. oh, it's killing me. I can't remember it. Oh, he goes, 
Pan, pan, pan! That's what they say in the mummy trailer. Pan? Yeah, he just yells pan for some reason. Crimson Desert. All right. It seems like people... Does not look bad. Yeah. Re-rate that now. over by the end. Yep. Scale of 1 to 10. Because the trick was they went from, like, you know, mud wrestling some humans to, like, fighting big yeah. dragons and stuff. Yeah, it was I'm a little weird that they started... I love having new oh, IP God. and new teams on What did that studio do? Uh, South Korea, that's fantastic. Not sure. Crimson Desert. I don't know. All right. Now and, to present our next like war, he joined me made, in Fortnite uh, earlier this year in the Star of Tenet, over to John David Washington. Hey, John. Hey, Jeff. Thanks for inviting me to the Game Awards. As you know, oh, Mr. Tenet. Nolan's latest film, Tenet, I played a character called the protagonist. They did Very make Black Desert. Literally God, the way, uh, just saying that out loud, I played a character called the protagonist. Where or we're all the protagonists helping to tell the story of the game with our choices. Great Sometimes when people are reading from a teleprompter, it looks like their eyes are crossed. Being in control, but also being guided by brilliant. What, what does that have to do with this? And so I was just thinking about the, the, the best Crimson Desert trailer. Oh yeah, everyone in that <laughs> game was reading out the teleprompter. <laughs> what is this the word for? Best writing. <laughs> Best protagonist. Sacrifice everything for my home. A lot of writers on that. That's fun. This can't be real. Oh. That's a... Oh, best narrative. And the game award goes to... The Last of Us Part 2. Oh, there we go. First one of the night. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I was looking at my phone. Hey, it might not. It looked like there was a cut there, wasn't there? Okay, here we go. Check the tape. Um, first off, it's such an honor to be nominated with so many incredible games that came out this year. So truly, truly. Um, of course, I've got to thank my co-writer and the director of The Last of Us Part Two, Neil Druckmann, who was. You know what her secret to writing a good narrative was? Story. Um, and a big shout Little thing called books. She cheated. Look behind her. I knew I'd heard those words Josh before. <laughs> it, it wasn't an open book writing process, but she cheated. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and of course, thank you mostly and always to the fans. These characters meant so much to us, and we're really touched that they resonated with you as well. So thank you. Woo! <laughs> That's fun. A very special guest who has some exciting news for all you virtual chefs out there joining us all the Not way the from Muppets. his kitchen. Not the Muppets. It's Not the, the Muppets. Swedish God chef. damn it. Chef, are you there? Pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty soon they pick in the noombe womb. Oh, the moombe hoon the poop. Timeless comedy, everybody. Pretty soon they pick in the noombe womb. Oh, the the super duper hot the spoon. Oh, the spoon. And for the luna. I wish I could have that live audience here just because it would be oh, killing. And for the chickies. The chickie is uh, uh, for the, so the one person I, in the so audience sorry who's to just dying off, of uh, And you're looking sharp in that tux, by the way. And my Swedish, it's a little rusty, but I think there's been uh, a little bit of confusion, honestly. No, no, no. It's for the win. Thank you for the shooting. What is with these human hands on a Muppet? Has that ever been done before? I hate that. Hang on! No, Leo! No, no, no don't! Chef, I, I'm so sorry. Did we stop you in time? Actually win yeah, chat screaming, well, no. screaming no. Chat screaming no. Chat screaming stop. Stop. Yeah, stop. you might not have, but I dropped a big old wad of guacamole on my sweatpants. <laughs> that was your punishment for sinning last time. A co-op game. Like a fun, cool new game with a playable character named Swedish Chef. Me? <gasps> for the play -Doo? Yes, that is why you're here for a world premiere. Thank you to Joel Let's Coast, Zach Owens, and Alex Krim again for supporting us on Patreon. Next supporter will make cereal shriek. Oh, look at this. And overcooked? Great. Well, that's fine. At, right least, at least he's relevant this time. And there you have it. What do you <laughs> the, think, Chef? The Muppet character. I like that half-eaten pie behind him. It's really good for if you oh like seeing the insides uh, right. of other well, people's congratulations houses. congratulations to the <laughs> Swedish <laughs> Chef. Uh, this time, it's real. <laughs> Swedish <laughs> Chef is playable in Overcooked All You Can Eat on PS5 and Xbox Series X, and he's available. <laughs> 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 
making me so uh, uncomfortable. Is presenting our games for Impact Award, and we'll head to Abbey Road Studios to celebrate Mario's back to follow Gal Gadot. With the world famous <laughs> London Philharmonic <laughs> Orchestra. What right stereotypes have you got up your sleeve? A new initiative at the Game Awards, <laughs> Future Class. What is this future hey, class thing? And tonight, I'm honored to partner with Gillette. They just announced a list of. I'm Game not entirely class. sure what the what being in the future class means, and pioneers but they announced like a list of people that they're kind of honoring. There's plenty of inclusive future for video games. They're dreamers and thinkers. <laughs> games Hello. Games really changed my life, to be honest with you. My name is Royce Payne. I'm a senior computer science major at Morehouse College, and I'm currently playing on the Morehouse Maroon Tide. Is this that sale team. song or not? We see other big colleges are able to have. <laughs> I need a heads up whenever they start playing a song about whether or not it's the sale song. Not to have it. We're like, this is a lack. We let us know in the chat if this is the lack. sale song. <laughs> We're and let us know by screaming the word sale. HBCUs who have different passionate gamers who want to compete against one another. Yes, four. Ugh. We played against some good competition so far. Just being oh, able he's to a retro really break into that space and open the door for <laughs> others to come behind me. That's huge for me. People are confused about him being sponsored by Gillette and the fact that he has facial hair. Oh, hi, everyone. I hope you're mm. enjoying the Game Awards. I'm Alana Pierce coming at you live from my mansion. The last level, As someone um, with a chronic respiratory illness, I've had to find some unique ways to deal with <laughs> 2020 situation. Like maybe I go for a swim in my Olympic sized, that's not Olympic, the, the Olympic one is indoors. So, But I know that there are some people out there watching this that are depending on things like vaping to try to calm themselves down. However, uh -oh. the high levels of nicotine that you can Leo, be inhaling can actually worsen your Put down the vape, I know you got it in that other hand where the chip isn't in. Against <laughs> The mental health battle. Yeah, you, were gonna do Chaser, the, the, you were going to do the one vape not challenge that I would earlier, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know. But that doesn't mean I'm not trying to look out for you. <laughs> for those of you who are looking to quit vaping, which I hope you are, This Is Quitting is a free text based program with a free built in support system. Text Game Awards Thanks, to 88709 now. I'm going to take up vaping and quit <laughs> to make you proud of me. Notice me, Senpai. Oh, this game's coming out. Hell yeah. New track. Just Steve Miyamoto come out with a back. Bowser's Fury is just about playing the bass, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah, people in the is chat Bowser's are Bowser's Fury new? Yeah, that's like yeah. kind of the expansion. But people in the chat are letting us know that that was the sales song. Music so. back. That was fun. All right, back in 1997, <laughs> I wrote a story we about can't two prove them game wrong, developers so. coming If you were to let it play out eventually, they'd all yell sale. They're teaming Just up again. One really loud sale in the store world reveal <laughs> so which you can play right now. The <gasps> political. <gasps> Hello. Operator. Oh. Our arms up. No way. <laughs> Possessing a tactical advantage like, having unreal tournament warfare problems. Accuracy is ultra pure. Otherworldly. So it's just Are these just skins for the weapons or is it Or is it the fact that Warframe is on Epic? Was it not on there before? I guess that's why they're doing it, but I'm not sure if like they're adding new guns or these are just skins for existing guns that give you the gun. Alright. That art is so gross. <laughs> Welcome back to the Game Awards. Earlier, I asked you to head over to Instagram to post our Game of we the Year. We did. Art. Stop That's yelling at us. We did. <laughs> Don't check. Don't <laughs> check. Not a single one of you did it. <laughs> great. Keep posting on Instagram, and I'll share some more in just a bit. Now back to your host, Jeff Keeley. I wonder what she gets paid. Thank you very much. Not Sandra. enough. Last month, Call of Duty invited players to unravel a conspiracy decades in the making with the release of Black Ops Cold War. On December 16th, I like a little star on the ground up. to remind him where he's supposed maps, to stand. More weapons and more <laughs> operators. Don't and get too far players, away. A massive update of content, including a new close quarters map. Rebirth the further Island. Keely gets away from Here's that star, his health depletes. It's really, one. it's a sick <laughs> affliction he has. He's got to protect it. Protect <laughs> From the reds. From the haters. <laughs> he has some pieces of the puzzle, but doesn't know he's a piece himself. 
He doesn't know there's a story in Warzone. <laughs> story in Warzone, I have to see this. So this is like a classic song, but like a cinematic remix. Interesting. Yeah. And this is a remix of Sale? That's yeah. correct. Okay. That classic 80s song. Leo, how um, how often do you play Warzone? I have no idea. I haven't played it in a while, literally since I moved to a place where I had a data cap. I haven't dared. <laughs> yeah, that's scary. God, that thing's huge. Uh, Harry Ozo 122 brings up, wait, isn't this song explicitly anti-war? <laughs> no. Uh, no, it's Don't like war pigs. It. Like, w pigs are cool. Like, yeah, like, yeah war. Well, Call of Duty's also got an anti-war message, too. Yeah. Right. Well, only if you're a noob, then you shouldn't war. I think it's kind of their <laughs> right. nuanced message. You don't like war. That's why we spend most of our budgets making these guns feel good. Right. Cool. Yeah, it's bad to do all these things we want you to do and year make that it the Game you Awards do. Orchestra wasn't going to be easy to pull off, but we had to try. I know how much we all love video game music. Well, I'm really proud of what we've got for you right now. This is an anniversary year, the 35th anniversary of Nintendo's all-time classic Super Mario Bros. We Brothers, get a little condo in 1985. Here to perform a medley like of that he Mario songs from the to legendary Super Mario Abbey Road Studios in London. This is the world-class London Philharmonic Orchestra, led by conductor Lauren Balfe. Enjoy. Please be on Zoom. Please all be on Zoom. <laughs> there we go. Got that Balfe. I mean, this is this is a cranker. Is that like a bop? Yep. So I'm trying to replace Bob. <laughs> Three dates, Bob. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I just didn't like the drumming, so I wanted to mute it real quick. That's scared. <laughs> Those are a lot of people to pack into that building in distance. She's fun. Very interesting pairing, this is. Witty nickname here says, Finally, some much needed legitimacy for the London Philharmonic. <laughs> <laughs> Next genre says, This cranker slaps. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they done by an orchestra at this point in the series? Yeah, I think it's basically a different <laughs> composition. <laughs> yeah. Oh, skipping right over 3D World, I see. Okay. Ooh. Message and Mario speed. Galaxy 2. People also angry they skipped over Sunshine. You gotta get that Delfino in there. That's the closer. <laughs> she is having so much more fun than everybody else. <laughs> there it was. That kind of makes everything better, doesn't it? Wow. Uh, thank you to Lauren and the London Philharmonic. They'll be back again later in the show, and Eddie Vedder's coming up Thanks too. Thanks to so Phil. Lots of shows still to come. Lots of us are in lockdown right now. I know it might feel normal tonight to see all these games, but we're all in lockdown, and I know we all can't wait to go back outside to travel the world, meet new people. Well, until the then, nominees for here's best lockdown, where you can do all of that <laughs> as you explore and record disappearing cultures in a strange, beautiful world. This game is just stunning, and it's coming to PlayStation Five. Check it out. Don't you want to get back My outside and record disappearing cultures? <laughs> 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 My main takeaway from this evening so far was that this is very normal. So I'm glad he <laughs> expected that. Big normal vibes. 
<laughs> Scavengers. I don't know who they are. Our grandparents live. This looks great. For yeah. A thousand I'm, gonna, years. I'm gonna say it right now, having not seen that. Much. And our parents had a century to themselves. It's like classy bug snacks. I think that's the name of the game. Yeah. <laughs> But us, oh, meals. Yeah. <laughs> we have one season. That's a great name for a sequel. <laughs> no! Teaser. Hey, look out for trainers. Who needs Valley of the Gods? We got that wide man. Cool. It's like cool. Death Stranding, but positive. That's cool. Leo, that's cool. I won't have you bash that. I'm on board for that. Exactly. Beautiful. That's Seasons. All right. Seasons. Well, now it's time to present another it's Game Award. Season. She's the star of the upcoming film <laughs> Wonder Woman season. 1984. <laughs> Here is Gal Gadot. Hey, Gal. Thanks, Jeff. I'm honored to be here at the Game Awards. Lots a of belt. video games are fun to play, but each year, a select few games deliver a deeper message. They focus on subjects that can be historical, political, or deeply personal. The Games for Impact Award honors socially progressive projects Two different earrings. that have the potential One looks like a key. to inspire real change in the world. Can you solve this puzzle Here before this video games. is over? <laughs> games for Impact. There you go, Serial. Nothing Thank good you. comes from stirring up old memories. We don't really have a choice about that. Hmm. There you go, Serial. We knew we Thank had you. to resist, no matter the cost. And the Game Award goes to... <laughs> Tell me why. Tell me why. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Hi all, I'm Livy Hall, the community manager of Tell Me Why. And on behalf of the entire team from both Don't Not Entertainment and Xbox Publishing, thank you so much for this award. And thank you so much for all the work that you've shown Tyler and Pretty Allison good. and their journey. I'd like to express our team's deep admiration for all of tonight's nominees, especially those that have used their platforms to tell stories about trans and queer people with sincerity and heart. Here's to a future where even yeah, more two trans games in this category. That's interesting. Trans focus narratives, I guess. Truly reflected yeah. in the games they play. Thank you so so much. Congratulations, everyone's joining us live. The tech is working. This is amazing, and it's so cool to see everyone. Um, all right, well, right now we've <laughs> got another. Working. That's that's what everyone should take away from these awards. It's weird that Check he keeps insisting Unexpected. that the tech is working. <laughs> Nature is healing. The tech is working. Pikmin four. Horizon? Pikmin 4. It's time to go. That's Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel is in Horizon? <laughs> what is this? It's a yeah, prequel really... to that Fast and Furious game from this Yeah. <laughs> Steel C. Hunting for food in the forest is about family. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Serial. Thank you. <laughs> we got you all these gifts. <laughs> this... Oh, I wonder if this is going to be from um, Star Breeze or something. You think Riddick invented this, or uh, Vin Diesel invented this character? <laughs> this is Riddick's Sorry, ancestor. Sorry, I get too confused all the time. Uh, he absolutely did. He's hoping to like launch out another Riddick. You this know, is, like, this yeah. is Riddick with one D, two Ks. I guarantee this game will be named after Vin Diesel's character. Ah. Um. <laughs> All right, you got me. 
Is he in like a new Turok? The Chronicles of Turok? Is this Turok? Oh my god! <laughs> no! I hate oh. that trope of pushing somebody out of the way to be a hero. Why is it in every story ever told? It always happens. <laughs> I've never seen you never had someone do that for you? No, I've been waiting. I just kind of walk around the streets. <laughs> nope. Running into traffic and hoping someone will save me. Come on, Vin. Come out and play. Oh my god. Does anyone know Vin Diesel's real name? No. It's Vincent. Mark Sinclair. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the name of this game. Yeah. Mark. <laughs> what if they, he just starts titling his game Mark Sinclair's Turok? <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> this is a film! Four player cooperative action, moving game. Oh my god. Don't stick out your tongue. People are dying. And we all enjoyed Lost World. <laughs> Next runner is the correct take saying, this is way too long for how silly it is. <laughs> People guessing it's Tale of the Sun. Ooh. Good guess. That it's Elden Ring. I hope it's just Assassin's Creed. <laughs> That'd be sick. That song is familiar, isn't it? You got it sounds like, is it Ori? <laughs> I like that song, seriously, is- Ori 3? It's, that song I've heard, it's driving me nuts. Santiago de Costa, is that something that people should recognize? It was all a simulation. It's close to Ori. I swear to God, we just played the music on the MinMax show this week, and I swear to God, that's a song from Ori. Oh, weird! The oh, <laughs> it is Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark stands for M. Ark. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Yeah. That's right, Arc 2 starring Vin Diesel. The team at Studio Wildcard has one more announcement for all Arc God, fans. the game Check industry is so silly. That's uh, Arc 2? Yeah. The balance of nature has been altered. There is someone out there. Arc 2 starring Vin Diesel is the stupidest okay, sentence. Mackenzie Byers says, there you go, Surreal. Thank you. <laughs> I will. I don't know. Leo, if you were writing one of your comedy skits for Watch Later and you had to come up with a fake game, you could not do better than Arc 2 starring Vin Diesel. That Vin is, Diesel. it's funnier no. than anything. They would say Leo's jumped the shark. It's too absurd. <laughs> is this like more Arc 2? I think so. We have surplus budget. Do you want to make an animated trailer along with the CG one as well? I hope Iron Giant comes in. Uh oh. Oh, my raptor! None of this is anything like what the game is gonna be like, is it? Like, are you gonna be fighting these guys? In yeah. The game? Surreal. That's another player with cool armor, probably. Good boy. Okay. Uh, Dave Clapp in the chat likes your beard, Surreal. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dave. Oh! They're doing it! They're doing it! Okay. <laughs> what? I want to point right. out that one of the names on here is Madeline Madden, which I've never seen before. That's a good name. Elliot Page, wow. Oh, interesting. I wonder if they had to change that. Crystal so cr I guess Ark secretly made a boat load of money, huh? Yeah. It's yeah. been a no longer crazy a secret. year for Fall Guys. It became a massive And Vin Diesel was in that, too. Oh, God. They announced the Fall Guys animated this series. Especially when we were all in lockdown. This holiday season... God, Fall, Fall Guys, guys cracks Jeff Keighley up like nothing else. Wonderland for season three. Eats little Here's guy your first look. slipping and sliding all <laughs> over the place. I, I don't get it. 
Yellow team! I just uh, uninstalled this game to make room recently from my hard drive. Oh, nice. I just installed this song on my hard drive. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be able to play it offline. Yeah, just in case my internet goes down so I can still blast it. <laughs> how many other songs are gonna tell you how wonderful this time of year is? They should, you can really corner the market on Claiming other times of the year are wonderful. <laughs> it's the second most wonderful time. It's Father's Day. <laughs> it's the most arbory time. <laughs> uh, does anybody want to gamble money on how much Jeff Keeley's going to chuckle when they cut back to him? I'm going on. I'm going on three solid chuckles. Yeah, he's gonna have to take a second. <laughs> go on without me, go on. Cut to the Instagram crap. I can't go on. He breaks K Fabe when they cut to him. He's just like in his own hand. He's like. <laughs> Tears in his eyes. The game Inaudible, but you felt it. Right you now. felt you can it. Stream all the game festival demos using uh, by the way, Serial. Uh, um, here you go, Serial. Finlay supported us on uh, Patreon Lots of amazing games you can and play got exclusive access long. to the right, Discord, so we know what that sounds Tom like. Holland, Nolan North, Didn't you say you were going to volunteer this next one? Mm, yeah. All right. So I think uh, <laughs> a, a shriek for Finlay goes a little bit something like... <clears throat> Something like that? Does anybody else want to try a shriek? Oh, they got to donate. <laughs> oh, it's <just> one shriek. <laughs> one shriek per Patreon supporter? Right. Okay. God, they're just giving this song away. <laughs> That's what David Bowie would have wanted. It's true. Give this song away as often as possible. <laughs> Anything space themed. Is this that Capcom thing? That if it has an astronaut in it, they have to use it. <laughs> Royalties to Major Tom. <laughs> Aster. Farpoint? What is this? Star Citizen? My money's on far point two. No VR this time. Oh, people get star fields. Huh. That'd be the interesting. The shot of space looked the same. Well, they just said Odyssey. Oh, it's and the name they, of the, the game the that they... Before the, before the trailer started. Yeah. <laughs> We've been paying real oh. good attention to these awards. <laughs> <laughs> think... It's more fun if we don't know. Yeah, don't tell us. Whenever there's a title on the screen, we're going to close our eyes. <laughs> That's interesting. We Elite Dangerous getting a, a way of shooter coming. mode? Third person mode? Shooter What's mode? Going on games that have game? quietly games made a boatload of money. an incredible yeah. way of doing that. Yeah. I'm Jennifer Hazel. I'm a medical doctor. She's my then favorite Shepard voice actor. I started specializing yeah, in joke. mental health specifically. <laughs> Something clicked. I realized that all my life, I'd been using video games as a way of nurturing my own well-being, and I wondered if other people could do that I like a good grubby too. controller. Hi, this is. Mm -hmm. And so I don't read the comments. <laughs> they just scroll down to the horrific comments. Resources to the gaming community. What is mental health? We use games as a medium to raise awareness and to reduce stigma and to provide real tangible resources to people who are struggling that they can use in their everyday life. Above all else, I want people to know that it's okay to be struggling at the moment. There are resources out there. Real DL says, you guys remember that game where you look for Shrek? That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Welcome to Enoch, a hellhole of madness and misery. If you don't want to end up as worm food. Outrider. Oh, there you go, Leo. You went on this cover story. I did. That's I was briefly searching my mind for where I heard the word Enoch before. <laughs> yeah, I played a few hours of this. It was pretty cool. I heard that pitch change. 
So let me walk you through the mantras of survival. It's a third person ability loot shooter. First, from people can fly. Cover is for cowards. From people can fly. Yeah, that's right. It you seems like the type of game where at stop. the end of 2021 we'll be like, oh, that's right, Outriders came out this year. Chuck yourself into the frame. Right. Two, I don't know what that means, but I just feel that that'll happen. You feel that tingling in your fingertips? Your powers are ready to be unleashed. Don't I went to Poland waiting. for it. That's where people can fly is. Three. Yeah, that's cool, man. Oh, I was near Cyberpunk. There's no use oh my god. Want your health back? Get out there Did you, uh, you Finally, dig Poland? Poland was great. I'd love to go Finally, back. I got very sick. Oh, to that's have. right. What flavor is sick? Aggressive. Uh, some vomiting, some cold stuff. Might have been COVID. It was right at the start of the year. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Uh, got it at the airport on the way there. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you guys, um, have you guys thought about the fact that we get to fight Minecraft Steve as Sephiroth? I was hoping you would be in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. The Tinder could be a threat. Star Fox? You'd better think twice. Before you hand it to them. The hell are you? And <laughs> what are you doing on my screen? Isn't this like a PlayStation? I remember this like premiered on the PlayStation. Really? You're not thinking of Bio Mutant, are you? No. Yeah, because I remember the, the rabbit. This is Forged in Shadow Torch. <laughs> Don't forget that subtitle, Leo. Forged How could I? Mind. No! That's a perfectly good Xbox. God. Uh, stop it. Cut to Magneto. Cut to Magneto. Hold his hand out. <laughs> I'm exclusive now. <laughs> what if they just announced that? Wouldn't that be funny? Just Magneto exclusive for Xbox Series X and never had any more context for what that meant. Cool. Why not say things like that? <laughs> no one can stop you. I know. We hey, lost Keely. Guys? It's uh, Tom Holland here. I am in Atlanta on the set of the next Spider-Man film, but <gasps> I am honored to be a part of the Game Awards tonight. You know that for the past few years, why I've is he doing a British accent? Movie, which did involve it's like a, some a funny joke, I think, on the Spider Man set. They like to pray pranks. I'm honored to be playing Nathan Drake. What I can assure you is that we really want to honor Naughty Dog's amazing games. So, this film tells you how Nathan Drake became the character we all know and love. It is now my honor to introduce my good friend, Nathan Drake. Please welcome Mr. Nolan North. Both Drakes? Okay. Both drakes. Thank you, Tom. A reverse passing uh, of the torch. I could torch. not be more proud of you. You know, know someday when happen, someone searches for Nathan Drake on Nathan IMDb, <laughs> and you are the first result, I will only be remarkably bitter. You know, video games allow us to connect with friends, family, and complete strangers. We can his share hair is like his experiences jacket. beyond the confines of Old. our homes, or even travel to vast new worlds with our buddies on the couch next to us. Of all the years I've been grateful for multiplayer games, They've never been more important to us than they were in this historically crappy, rotten, no good, cursed year. I like that that little. Uh... These are the nominees never for mind. best multiplayer. <laughs> best multiplayer game presented by Instagram. His name was Nolan North. <laughs> uh, all right, Leo. We got H Monday supporting us on Patreon. H Monday. H Monday! <laughs> There's a shriek! Thank you so much, H Monday! Thank you so much, H Monday. We love you, H Monday. Every day is H Monday. I'll explain to my girlfriend later that was for a very to. good reason. <laughs> <laughs> Among Us. Knew it. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, McBuff oh, points out All right. games that did not <laughs> come you, out this year are eligible. Yeah. Who voted for us. If, if um, floodgates are open. All the other games nominated. 
Um, it's an honor to have you know they want that audience, category. right? They want it. The if there's that many people playing the among us this year, it's just as shallow as that. I mean, it's cool yeah. to give the devs their their due. Two years ago, among us started with <laughs> local mobile, and then um, I don't think there's anything PC, wrong with that. Really? And the rest is history. Now more than ever, finding who's ways behind to them with friends is increasingly significant, and we're so happy. Many of you turned to among like us to play with friends and family. Oh, thank you to Robot Teddy. Dual Studio and our other partners for helping us navigate all the excitement. Thank you to our moderators and the fans who have been. Now on these the are real emotions, Leo. Years. I know you've been asking what they look and like. This is what they look like. Well, it's you hard to tell with the mask. I feel like I'm not going to make it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight, you've been using Instagram's custom Game of the Year AR effect nice. to add a snazzy trophy to your reel. Let's check out a couple of those. You're all winners in my book. Keep making so, those trophies, and I'll be back with more later. Keep effing now that chicken. What? <laughs> Is this Facebook <laughs> base for this? What the hell's hey, going on? Later hey, yeah, there was an us, ad for Facebook. Among among us, the new map uh, reveal. All right, now we've got another brand new game announcement. This one is fun. It's one of your favorite supernatural horror Don't franchises. It. And it you looks like me. a bloody good time. Check it out. Oh, Gailey, you old dog. Tom Holland would get that one. <laughs> I feel like they got Tom Holland just so we could say Nardy Dog. Nardy Dog. <laughs> I'm grateful. I had a real life once. I had a wonderful girlfriend, Linda. Together we drove to a small cabin in the mountains. Oh, oh weird. Dead. Ex mortis. Yeah. Of the dead. Is it just going to be Dead by Daylight DLC, though? It seems an archaeologist had come to this remote place to translate and study his I was questioning the audio quality, but it's probably just Bruce Campbell recording at home, right? He awoke something dark in the woods. It took Linda. There have been a couple Evil, Evil Dead games, right? I don't remember the last one came out. Was that 360? For me. Oh, oh this is the wow. game. I'm sorry. More of this co-op. Boy, we really yeah. missed Left 4 Dead. Stay with me. Four-player cooperative zombie killing game. There you go. Evil Dead the game. Next up, a classic game franchise is being remade. Take a look at this announcement. Okay. Make it a fun one, Jeff. Ooh. Ghosts and Goblins? What the hell? Hold on this yeah, fans are gonna hate it. I'm curious to see if it was Capcom internal or who's actually developing this. It's cool to see them revisiting this. Was this on their list of leak stuff? Maybe, maybe. I didn't look at it. Yeah. It's cool. I'm happy to see that. For Switch. Yeah. Yep, people in the chat are already angry at the art. <laughs> oh. Look out! Waiting for that sale drop. What the? Quick little song about the good old days where we'd be in the it's arcade all night. Like the, the Xbox Live Arcade thing? Or like, love what, was some what was that thing they had for a while? Yeah. We're now going to recognize some more games. winners in the category of yeah. yeah. the independent game. game. The DLC. nominees are Carrion, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout, Hades, Spelunky 2, and Spiritfire. Fire. And the game award goes to Hades. All right. Super Giant. Yeah. For best audio design, those No time to are talk, Super Giant. Eternal, Ghost of Tsushima, Half Life Alex, Resident Evil 3, and The Last of Us Part 2. And our winner is The Last of Us Part 2. Congratulations, sure. Naughty Dog. I feel like just like the Oscars, that's a category where you know, they're all Final just Fantasy at the same level remake, at that point. Genshin yeah. Impact, Persona 5 Royal, Wasteland 3, and Yakuza Like Don't a Dragon. Don't do me dirty, Jeff. And the Game Award goes to Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Thank you. Congrats, Square. I'll take that award, Jeff. Thank you. <laughs> there you go, Hanson. Those nominees are <laughs> Crusader Kings 3, Desperados 3, Gears Tactics, 
Microsoft Flight Simulator and XCOM Chimera Squad. I think Microsoft Flight and Simulator is the best strategy game. Microsoft Flight oh, Simulator. Oh, there we go. See? Interesting. There I go. And in our fan category, Player's Voice, you voted tournament style to pick your favorite games. The final five nominees were Doom Eternal, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and The Last of Us Part Two. And the winner, as you may know, we announced it online. Well, don't say Congratulations that. Congratulations to Sucker Punch, Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> and the winner is, you already now know it. Like, what? Just sell you. it. This is for best <laughs> fighting game. And here to help us out from Netflix's Cobra Kai, two great rivals from film history, no. Ralph Macchio and Yuji Okamoto. There you go. Hey, what's up, Game Awards? <laughs> game Awards, what's up? Hey, Ralph. You know, are, they, are they right now? How would I? No, I mean, we haven't even read. Yeah, the one's using not Zoom you. and one's using <laughs> Skype. <laughs> because I'm not somehow they're on the oh, same call. On. You were in a game, Karate Kid for Nintendo 1987, and your karate was weak. All right, Yuji, listen, whatever. Okay, why don't we just read off the list of nominees, huh? A lot of pianos. Right. Best fighting game: Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, Street Fighter 5 Champion Edition. One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows. <laughs> Under Night in Birth. See, it pays to be go. good compared to the evil. Like, look at the background of go. their two houses. <laughs> I think this Sorry. is the rest of development set, actually. I'm stuck. <laughs> Somebody glue this thing? <laughs> I got you, Macho. <laughs> and the winner is. They, they were delighted when they Mortal came up Kombat with this. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. Congrats, guys. Awesome. I'd like to point out at this point that they nominated the One Punch Man over right. Ben's yeah, fighting congratulations hurt. Congratulations to Mortal Kombat and thanks <laughs> to Ralph and Eugene. The biggest tragedy in terms of nomination. Really, uh, been missing was those fighting hurts this year? I thought those last year. Luckily, we have one of the most beautiful this year. games really? of the year to help fill oh that void a little. It just won Best uh, Simulation Strategy Game, Microsoft Flight Simulator. And next year, it's coming to Xbox. Cool. Here's what that's going to look like. It's an airborne <laughs> view of our wonderful We can world. guess. <laughs> Little thing I like to call Mother Earth. I was thinking, um, I was thinking of redoing the Thanksgiving joke segment, Leo, because I thought of a new joke. Yeah. And it was good, like, yeah. I'm thankful that Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't know. Look, I don't know about the structure of the joke, but the joke is you say that Microsoft I've Flight Simulator includes so all of the games that are named after a physical location. So like, I'm thankful that Tacoma was included in Microsoft Flight Simulator, or uh, Hell, Michigan was included, you know? Um, and this is the reaction that I would expect from that <laughs> level of joke on the Thanksgiving special. But what are there any more than that? Yeah, I don't know. Help me, chat. Help me, chat. Like, what are other game names that are named after real world locations? Detroit, of course. Yeah, Detroit. <laughs> the suburb become human. Um, Africa, play PS3 game. Really? You never played Africa? No. Oh, Mackenzie. Mackenzie McKenzie it. brings up Crimson Desert. Yep, that would be on there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ghost of Tsushima, kind of Streets of LA, New Vegas, Route Zero. You can find. Yep, Hellgate, yeah. London, All right, uh, Mega Microsoft Man, Arkansas. It looks amazing coming next summer to Xbox. And now it's time to take a look at another game coming to PlayStation 5. Check it out. Sony Flight Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> Sony Bike Approximator. <laughs> My end what? Is waiting at the beginning. You can't do this to us. I will go there now. You can't show a door on a PlayStation. Oh, cool. The crash. Every time. What is this cycle I'm trapped inside? Oh, Returnals. Was that? I thought that was a. Oh, what was the name of the Capcom game that was? Oh, that you're was, thinking of. Uh, <laughs> pro, not, yeah, Project. I don't know what that was called. I mean, Housemark, what are you doing? You can't start your PlayStation trailer with a PT door. Uh, Pragmata was the name of that one, Serial. Oh. We're loving time loops lately. <laughs> Aren't we, folks? Everybody's bagging on that name. I kind of like it. 
Oh, you probably go through the door at the start of each run, like Bioshock Infinite. Oh, that's interesting. All right, we will be back in just a moment with a man, a mean, a man, a meme, a legend, Reggie. He's gonna join us. A mom, a me, a legend. A game from how you remember from one of the craziest, most unscripted moments that. in Game Awards history. Joseph Ferris plus Eddie Vedder will play his song from The Last of Us Part Two, and later Jack Septicai joins us from Europe to present yes. Content Creator of the Year, presented Jack by Adobe. Septicai. Lots of great stuff coming up here on the Game Awards. We will see it's you. It's probably a bad right sign that. Um, it's probably something I need to listen to a music cro podcast crossfade more. Because when he said Eddie Vedder was coming up, I sincerely was like, didn't he die like a couple months ago? But no, that was Van Halen, everybody. Don't be alarmed. It is, I, I, you know, I appreciate Joseph Ferris for his energy, I guess. But it is a little bit weird about like, this guy went off script years ago, and so he's got to come back every year. This guy's crazy. It's like the weird, the way they pitch him is so bizarre. Yeah. A running gag. Yeah. Yeah. It's just basically dance clown. <laughs> it's like how you feel on the podcast. Get drunker. Later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who's he gonna curse off next? Who's he gonna oh. go tell to go screw themselves? I like that game world company, new character. Hey, I mean, Meat Boy, call me when no, you're coming yeah. out, because this has been in development longer than, you know, Duke Nukem forever at this point. It's crazy how long they've been working on this. Yeah. It's seriously, what was it, four years ago it was announced? At least? At least. I feel like this is one of the first things I saw while I was at Game Like in a weird preview though. Oh my god! It's a date! Um, That's a date and it's in two weeks. Jesus. Wow. Crazy. What's left to I say? I am enjoying this show so far. <clears throat> I am I too. I've been doing nothing but bagging on it. You're right. You're right. It is. I'm having a lot of fun. It is fun. You know, everybody likes to be a critic, but you try and put this show together. You know how much work this is? Good God. Lining up. I, I always say, if I lined up one of these exclusive reveals or like just Gal Gadot coming in and giving the presentation, I would never stop talking about it. You know, and Keeley's just cranking this out, making it rain. Little moments. It's impressive. Yeah. It's not his fault if games are bad. That's right. <laughs> Stop blaming him, everybody. Stop tweeting at him. One misconception people have is that Keely doesn't make these games. <laughs> Except for Genshin Impact. He did have a big hand yeah. in that. He was... He voiced Paimon. That's right. Yeah. Hi, I am Mary Mauser, along with Peyton List from Netflix's Cobra Kai. We're here to settle one of the great... So, uh, this show this was a YouTube Ellie show and then it became Netflix? Netflix? Is that what's going on with Cobra Kai? Ellie. Ellie is probably one of the greatest... Yes, it was a YouTube original yeah, and now they don't make those anymore. So oh, better. okay. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube Red yeah. original. Yeah, she's like a YouTube Rip. She gets a nap and some food in her. She could probably deadlift a small car. And she's nice to dogs. Well, Ellie is an artist and a beautiful singer. And that isn't Amelia Clark you're telling me? Yeah, you can tell she's not a good singer. Point collectors don't make good singers. Well, I'm not going to tell you. I think it's implied. Okay. Ow! Up to your interpretation. Honey, is it... is it you? Hmm. How oh, are you interesting. The the Ubisoft joint? Be careful with the people that give you a ride. And... Don't travel with someone you don't know. We love you. Hmm. I hope they pass by the Carrie Russell car. <laughs> Biggest crossover in the history. <laughs> I mean, honestly, without E3 or any excitement the rest of the year, I mean, this is this is the biggest show of the year, right? Or I wonder if it's going to top like the PlayStation stream, actually. Those were pretty big, I guess, but so far, pretty good. That game looked really cool, also. Oh, good, yeah. Yeah, chat was saying, there you go, Leo. There so. <laughs> you go, Leo, yeah. I am wishlisting it now, I requested. Real DL wants to know what's been your favorite reveal so far. Uh, perfect dark for me, it'd have to be. Trying to what else have we had? 
Not Arc, really Arc 2. Well, welcome back Arc to two. Game Awards. And before we went away there, I meant to tell you Arc that was, 2 was uh, the <laughs> most fun to watch for sure. Um, that was so definitely sure like the out, best uh, reveal. All right. Well, you I'll probably remember that. this next developer from a few years back. He is not a fan of the Oscars, but he oh, is a fan of the language and our show. He's in Stockholm, Sweden tonight. And he wanted to give us a new The country we insulted earlier in this program. Everybody, he really is my friend, <laughs> Joseph Ferris. Hey, Joseph. He really is my friend What's is up, a weird Jeff? line. So nice to be back at the Game Awards. As you can see, I'm in the middle of a mocap shoot, working on our next game, It Takes Two. Trust me when I say this. Hazelight's next co-op only experience, It Takes Two, is going to blend narrative and a huge variety of gameplay never done before. And today... We're gonna have a gameplay reveal. Oh, this is that weird roller exclusive. coaster in space I know game. You like That's right. Word exclusive, but this one is even extra exclusive, my man. <laughs> anyway, we're also gonna have something that we had in a way out. We call a friends pass. God, his chest hair must get stuck in that copy, zipper all the time. Oi. You know, if you play he with says, your friends, oh, hey, you my chest hair. <laughs> for free, I mean. He must wax that strip, anyway, just a vertical <laughs> line. Twenty-six. <laughs> Enjoy the trailer. <laughs> Goodbye. Boom. This guy's nuts character that guy this is the story what? of a <laughs> okay king, one of wizards and warriors it's an epic day really the same game they showed before did i misremember it winter wonderland bobsled sort of thing you know did I mention the big explosion? Hold it right there. Look at these dolls. Almost forgot they used to be humans. Ay, ay, ay. Do you want to know what this story is really about? Huh? This is the story of Cody ah, ah, and May. Why Welcome to Morrowind Universe, I believe, technically. I'm I'm on board. I would play this. You're a doll, Cody. You've nothing to throw up. Told you. Cool. How hard do you think it was to line up a take two? A song that has a take two in it. Hmm. I think they were pretty happy about that. They were like, okay, we have to, this has to come through, otherwise we can't do this trailer. How do we break it? Okay. Well, they had to, at least two options. They had a fallback. This is a story of collaboration! Weird. <laughs> How comes you get all the cool Remember that crazy things? thing with um, you, a way out where if you bought a copy, you could give a copy to a friend for free so they could play online co-op with them? Yeah, they're doing that for this one. They are? Yeah, they, they mentioned it before. They the oh, cool. <laughs> I love that. How do you pull yeah. these facts out of your ass, you Ariel? <laughs> yeah. It. You can just make stuff up and then, okay. then it becomes true. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Editing the Wikipedia page right now. <laughs> they have to do it now. March. Cute. That's very cute. What an absolutely crazy game. Joseph showed that to me last summer when I was in Stockholm. Because like, we're we pretty tight friends. Stop. There's so much gameplay there. Thank you for Always that. Always makes me laugh. All right, now I'd like to welcome a longtime friend and supporter <laughs> of the Game Awards. He was there in Vegas for our very first show back in 2014, and he's been back every year since we weren't going to let the streak stop this year the retired president and reggie CLO boy of america but still a boss reggie fils reggie the mama mia man also other things. i'm not just I'm doing good, the guy who reggie. used to Take be president of <laughs> absolutely also on gamestop's you know, board of directors that's right the very first award for innovation what's going in on behind system. it is it like keying out during my time at nintendo we had a mantra gaming for the someone masters. vacuuming and we pushed that agenda with Wii, Nintendo DS, and now Nintendo Switch. How do these guys not have a better today, camera, Leo? So is, is GameStop his day job and his, like, passion project is still promoting Nintendo products? It's polishing trophies. 
<laughs> this award was created to highlight the efforts um ever snorlax thanks for upping your pledge on patreon uh that's worthy of half a shriek i think from you surreal played and enjoyed by the okay, widest I'm gonna move and most the mic a little bit okay because gaming uh, okay so everybody. okay by half a shriek do you want me to just, just say half his name no 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 just his full name average snorlax it's just half a shriek It cut out. Sorry, okay. you're gonna have to do it again. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to make it so that it triggers Hyper earlier. Not. Hyper not. Hyper not. <laughs> uh, hold Sorry, on. I'm it's... gonna try to say something so that way it picks up. Okay, his okay, whole go, name. go, 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 go. Okay, go, 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 go. Average! <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Thank you so much, Average Snorlax. Go, and Charles McGregor! There he is. The Last of Us Part Two. Oh! You meant to say hyper Believe that. What? Look out behind what? you! What? 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 Oh, uh, what is it? I'm Matthew. She should just start trying to bust through with an ant. Slowly picking away and cracking the glass. Like thank you so much for honoring us with this year's innovation <laughs> yes, and I guess award. you can do it. Thank you as well to the Game Awards what? for choosing to add this category and to all the other developers who have designed and advocated for accessibility in our games we hope that How together are they doing we that? Can continue the momentum to push our industry forward as developers we know how one small design the decision question. can unlock the entire this game for player setup. games are special for their ability to blur the line between player and character congratulations to charles Writing mcgregor developer of hyperdot friend of the show he was on the last of us deepest dive uh, for being nominated artistic mediums that was it's cool to see him up there. Sure yeah, that sure. Can experience that for themselves. We'd like to thank our terrific group. And if you squint, I believe it's Charles McGregor and that TV far behind him. <laughs> your, your insight All of your, the nominees were your, sent to the uh, same apartment complex. <laughs> We'd also like to thank our partners at Worldwide Ooh, Studios. Ooh, C.T. Shimidlak um, asks, is she locked out Thompson, or is he locked the in? It's <laughs> a great question. Dedicated accessibility QA testers. You think she had to drive over here? Like to thank. Everybody yes. in Naughty Dog. It would have been cooler if they were on like the 30th effort, floor. Every time <laughs> she was repelling out there. In removing barriers for players with disabilities. <laughs> Lastly, we'd like to thank you, the players. Nothing makes us prouder than hearing stories from players who were able to experience The Last of Us Part Two without Oof. assistance. Turn how do, using our accessibility who features. Who doesn't have their phone on vibrate to begin with? Let alone if you're receiving awards. Us, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Stop it. Maybe someone's dinging a bell. Congratulations to Naughty Dog. Such an important Don't category. Rush to judgment. To it's the morning that they're Maybe getting too close. To the, the glass is getting weak. Stay forward. back. This next world premiere gives us our first glimpse at next year's big adventure for the Elder Scrolls Online. Chan says, Ben, don't you have your Steam notifications on? Well, yes, I do, but <laughs> that's a completely <laughs> different situation. I'm sorry. Sorry that it keeps popping up. Oh, shut up. He's also <laughs> not nominated for anything. That's right. Oh, hang on. Keep talking. It's Cinemax Online Studios now. <laughs> I'm glad people are enjoying this game. I wish I enjoyed it more. I've tried it a few times. Really? I think there's a lot in there. When you when I boot up a game and it's like, look how deep our cooking system is. Yeah. For some reason that's a like, okay, I'm here for this. I'm salivating, baby. Yeah. Tummy's rumbling. Oh, hang on. He's late to the punch, but Haryuzo 122 has the killer joke saying, oh, she's just in windowed mode. <laughs> and so we're, we can go back, Harizo, and edit that joke in at the right time, because it's really killer. Oh, this is a hot Microsoft property. Yeah. Interesting. It's Oblivion. Mmm. Yeah, they already did all the Morrowind uh, nostalgia, and now let's try and get some Oblivion stuff going here. Yeah. There it is. D -d -d oh, Gates. That was fast. From imposters in Among Us to the visual beauty of Genshin Impact. Mobile gaming has had an incredible uh, Amir BBB is Coming wondering up, how long the show goes on. It's however long you wanted, Amir. They're stretching to the fill for you, so you, you gotta call it. Tell us when you want us to shut it off, Amir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll send a loud ding to and Jeff later, Keighley. The first look at a brand new map from Among Us. The Game Awards Ooh. will be right back. Goodbye. We'll, we'll be map. back, too. 
I played Among Us in VR the other day. You can Amazing. do that? It's a fan-made, like, community map. Just one of the maps, but it just works perfectly ha! in VR. What are you talking? I don't even understand what that looks like. In VR chat. Oh, if so it's in 3D. That. Okay. Everybody, you walk in, you pick your avatar, you pick your color, and you just walk around doing the missions. And you can have proximity chat on or off, so you can, like, walk near people and have secret conversations as the two imposters or whatever. That's so really cool. fun. That seems like, yeah, they should just license that as an official thing. Yes, I would way rather play it over the regular game. Somebody wrote into the Mid Max Show podcast this week, talking about how on the schoolyard kids are playing Among Us, um, and to kill somebody, the way like someone secretly the imposter, you know, um, oh. but then to kill somebody, you just have to look at them and stick out your tongue. And so no one can see you stick out your tongue. Isn't that a good way of doing it? Just like, you have to be a little bit subtle and it's not gonna be too violent. That's really clever. Oh, who determines, oh, how do they determine who the imposter is? Um, well, the way that the person writing in described it is that students close their eyes and then a teacher pats them on the head. Oh. See, Dnad says, so mafia. Is that a thing sticking out your tongue in, in mafia? Like I've never played the- Al Capone did that. That's right. That's right. That's what he was arrested for. It wasn't oh, for his crimes. Like <laughs> Tonguing in public. Hello. Yeah, that, that's what prohibition is about, right? That's oh. right. You're prohibited from showing your tongue. Speaking of VR. The thing I love about Black Spire Outpost. Don't get me started on Black Spire Outpost. Okay. <laughs> Resistance spy. Fun. There's something wrong with this place. Received your distress call. The council. He's here. There you go, Serial. Thank you. That's it. that's my Yoda. <laughs> hey, your pirate friend stopped by while you were out. Somewhere in the world, there is the world's number one fan of Yoda. Wouldn't that be fun to meet them? They just have like <laughs> nothing but Yoda merch, and they're just like. Disgusted by Baby Yoda, like oh yeah. now everybody's into the little green guy. It's not okay. even his name. Yeah. Get I over. got surgery to look like Yoda. No one thinks I'm cute. <laughs> also, if anybody can chip in for my medical bills, because my face is deteriorating fast. I turned my house into a swamp. I regret that very strongly. You think oh, getting an impact? <laughs> Do you think that got that Yoda fan? What do you think they think of Yaddle? Um, I bet that was like, mm, you're pushing it, but I guess I'm on board. And then Child Yoda, you know, the baby Yoda is just right out. To get one of the fastest like a whole Yoda SSDs family, but I'm not into it. Yeah. By the way, did you see they announced like 4,800 Star Wars TV shows today? Yeah. It's like Yaddle's big day out and shit. Ooh. You see they had a quote from Jeff Kelly about this hard drive? <laughs> and another one. <gasps> Introduced by Jeff Keighley. You want this. <laughs> this. Check it out. What is this? Is this like sexy music? How would you describe this? How am I supposed to be feeling? Uh, like you want to buy a WD We've just black heard from our friends at oh, that's buying that music. there's another cool surge stuff. of Wooper appearing. <laughs> So we're implementing another Wooper watch. He's <laughs> back. Get out of the house, everybody. I know. I just got the alert on my phone. <laughs> recently implemented its Go Beyond update, which It's actually uh, bumped up the same urgency as Amber Alert. <laughs> it overrode it. Amber Alert. Wooper was last seen in a white Subaru. Chesspin, Benekin, and Froakie are also making their Pokemon Go debut. There's also a lot of bonuses happening now, and it's never been a better time to play Pokemon Go. Uh... I mean, probably true with the tech problems and all. Yeah. They've always known you would come. Here we go. They keep saying this game's coming out, but. Do you know why you have? The only way games are out is if they are released. Eyes. Dangerous. <laughs> that, that's a uh, Miyamoto quote, right? I think. Yeah, I'm paraphrasing, but I think that was the gist of it. A delayed try. game isn't out. <laughs> 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 and there are good games out now. 
<laughs> Shigeru Miyamoto. We're building! I remember being in the room for your interview with this guy, the Odd World guy. Yeah, remember when they freaked out afterwards? <laughs> To present our next award, she's a host. That's a story Surprise for another day. And your host for the Game Awards pre-show. I was just gonna say, hearing him talk about it, it doesn't sound like a side scroller. Oh. The way he talks about pushing the technology and Mobile whatnot. games were once yeah. defined by their limitations. In a way, we celebrated the games that excelled despite their platform. She's getting closer to Keely every gaps, time she appears. <laughs> on phones is no longer li a limitation; it's an asset. It's never been more apparent than tonight, where the nominees for best mobile game have found massive Is audiences be among us? because of their platform. Here they are. Brought to you by best Wooper Watch. Game, presented by LG Wing and Qualcomm Snapdragon. Wooper hands them the award. <laughs> How is Among Us not win this? I'm curious what the other options even are. Uh, Call of Duty Mobile? Sure, oh yeah, I guess this was yeah, mobile. There you go, Leo. There you go. No, oh, that game that people sky. love. People love that. Uh, just for a read of where everybody's at, um, people in the chat are just salivating for Elden Ring. Every time that the uh, words are Elden Ring, they're furious. To... Among Us. Uh, you still don't got a problem with this, Leo? What, it winning? I don't know. It just, it ain't right. It had its chance. <laughs> Back in my day. Yeah. Let's not write about it. Again to all the other games that were nominated. Um, you can't stop we it. We originally Anthony. designed our game Among Us no point to be played on about it. devices. So if you oh, it's Keeley's face friends, behind them. Uh, That's funny. Set up a game. We wanted our game to be accessible oh, it, are they implying that Keeley is an imposter? He's a little sus. To be shared amongst friends and family and whoever. Uh, we want to thank our players first and foremost. That's a nice us, mask in the middle. Look at that. Today, yeah. We really should have gone for the window um, strategy, though. I think that's us, really. <laughs> just have three layers of windows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just go to home yeah there's a lady like, in the window, and then they have another window behind them, all the way on the other side of the complex. <laughs> is the third Hi. person. And all of our other partners for helping us during all of this. You could do like a window um, and then a shower door. The <laughs> well, no, the other person is on the other side of the room in a mirror, and they're like, the, there's a mirror on the wall, and the person is on the other side. Right. Thank you for being so supportive. Thank you, thank you, for safety. thank you. And then the one in the furthest back is holding up a phone. Congratulations to Among Us, second win of the night. Now the Next set looks up, cool. The Monster Hunter franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. Camera just this hit something, I think. At Monster Hunter Rise. <laughs> <laughs> Ran over a whooper. They're actually, uh, uh, Gilly and the other hosts are actually taking turns on the camera. Oh. <laughs> Cute. A huge pack of monsters in a giant stampede. Where? Where are they going? The village in a frenzied rage. Nobody knows why this happens, but it came close to wiping Don't lead with stories. <laughs> Serial, are you going to watch the Macho Nerf film? It's in theaters next week, right? Only Not in theaters. theaters. Actually, I assume it's streaming, is it? It is streaming, I right? I think they said theaters, didn't they? Really? I don't know if it's in streaming, but I know for sure it's in theaters. That's going to blow my mind if it's not streaming. I just assumed. I imagine it probably is. If not, like, pretty soon. I guess I'll watch it. I don't know. We need you to protect I'll play this game, though. Really? Yeah. What is it? Monster Hunter? Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have... You know, oh, I... Show. Okay. I, I'm... For, is it... Uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure what Monster Hunter it was. Is it segmented again, or how's the world structured? I forget. Have they I said? think it's like... I think it is still pretty open, but I think the textures are just not as good as world. Okay. All right, over on Twitch, Big the world, next small poll textures. is for Content Creator of the Year. Vote now for who you think is going to win, and we'll find out in a little bit who wins that Twitch.tv slash MinMax Show. Please, fingers crossed. Great yeah, if you visit that URL, that's a vote for us. us. Here is Troy Baker. <laughs> Look out! He's here! He's over there. He's right behind you. <laughs> one day on the set of The Last of Us Part 1, there we go. Neil, our writer and director, asked me and Ashley what we would have been if we weren't actors. I thought about it for a second and replied that Yes, I always imagined I would have been a singer. Ashley just shrugged and in her charming and offhanded way said, actors, man. I would have been an astronaut. Neil incorporated parts of us into Ellie and Joel. 
Space and music became major elements of their stories, creating touching moments between them. One of those moments, now indelible in our memories, incorporated Neil's story as well. Not as a writer, but as a father. It involved a song he would play and sing to his daughter every night. That song Gangnam was style. Pearl Jam's <laughs> Future Days. One day, he say, asked if I was comfortable Opa. playing it in a scene he was <laughs> writing in The Last style. of Us Part Two. Now, I don't generally get nervous, but I understood what that song meant to <laughs> Neil and to the game. I'm a man who and doesn't feel is, things, can play that but... Song better than me. But nobody can play it better than the person that wrote it. From Seattle, performing Future Days, here's Eddie Vedder. I hope he incorporates Keeley's name somewhere in here. I think that'd be kind of fun. The Elden Ring tonight, right? I think they'll do it. I have faith. Just admit you don't remember the words. <laughs> do you think people ever call him Eddie Vader? I bet they do. I bet they do. Hey, I was thinking about this. Um, do you think that it's maybe an obvious thing, but is that James Earl Jones breathing for Darth Vader? Oh. Do you think they recorded that? Yeah, like how embarrassing is that direction? Like George Lucas is an uncomfortable director, but imagine him in the booth being like, all right, James, just want to breathe uncomfortably into the mic. We'll see what we get. So, just one last thing. We need you to uh, breathe, and it'll be the most iconic sound in cinema history. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Whenever you're comfortable. And action. George Lucas has a fun voice to do. Yeah. Because it's, it's basically Kermit. There's very little difference. <laughs> yeah. And it's weird. That's probably why he was attracted to, like, Jim Henson and the Muppets for Yoda and stuff, right? I, I could do one of those. I'm also in love with Miss Piggy. And I like flattering yeah. my arms around all the time. <laughs> Me and the Swedish chef grew up together. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that was the song Future Days. Yeah, we got that. And, um, yeah. That, that song you might recognize from, from The Last of Us. And <laughs> or me. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I don't remember. That was used, um, especially bringing Joel and Ellie Together, he knows the names. Uh, connecting <laughs> through music. And I, and I thought maybe it was cool, too, that made you want to perhaps pick up a guitar yourself and, and, and write In a song for your loved one. Um, but uh, it is nice to be part of this, uh, show my appreciation and be part of this year, Game Awards. And... Um, what a fascinating way to... Patrick Swanson says, No, here's the theme to Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> it was cool to be part of it. So uh, thanks for having me and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. That makes and me believe it what is live. Doesn't get better than that. Thank you so much. <laughs> they didn't cut that any shorter. On the game so right, I think anyway, he just got a new brand new game crazy, to show yeah. you for the first time. <laughs> Dead West. Flying Wild Hog. You can run for a long time. His hat says R on it. So here's another cover that has been cinema -fied. Yeah. I don't like that in movies. Like, it's just unreasonable, but they do it all the time. Of the, the shooting behind you. Like, I don't think that's a cool move because it's just so unrealistic. There's no frame yeah. of that's hey, like, oh. you've never shot a gun before. Um, have you? Shot yes. A gun before? <laughs> yeah, behind yeah. you? Um, no, I guess I've never shot a gun behind me. <laughs> so, I can do it in VR sometimes. Oh, you, you can I, really hear really well, you know, positionally. Mm. So I guess that's all it is, is just we should be impressed by, like, Han Solo's hearing when he shoots behind him. Right. Yeah. That's what they're telling you. I got 7.1 for the round here. <laughs> What kind of game is this? Wait. Evil West. Wasn't that other game called, like, Hard West? Like, from the former... Weird 
Weird West. Weird West. What the hell? That's bizarre. There's got to be at least one thing, one, two right, on games Twitch per year that are competing for basically the recognition of the year. in terms of name. Wait, but yeah. there's also Forbidden uh, West. Uh, <laughs> what the uh, hell? Of the vote oh my God. Who the win. Westing so the game? For content creator of the year is coming up next. Presented by Adobe and artist Boss Logic used Adobe Creative Cloud to create tributes to the nominees. You'll yeah. see those in a yes. second. We've also Evil West, was that the name of that game? And Fortnite. Yeah. Right now, Scarlet Nexus That's so weird. Rockstar's not going to make Undead Nightmare 2, so Here's we have to. At the brand new trailer. Here it is. The virtual brain Up link cable will now be connected. Bo. This will hurt much more than it did in training. Be strong. I think chat's melting down. They're losing their minds. <laughs> they want Elden Ring. Apparently Elden Ring is trending on What do you guys think right you're now. looking at? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so Elden. Yeah, seems like you're oh, is this okay. that Bandai Namco game? Yeah. I think it's just like the next game from the Code Vein team. Oh, really? It looks so... Um, it certainly looks almost exactly like it. Well, it also looks like that other Switch game, Astral Chain. Chain. Use the red strings to save the world. Yeah. You could definitely tell me this was either of those games. <laughs> Or Genshin, in fact. <laughs> well, that big furry boss was cool. You guys are wearing black shirts, so it's not Genshin, in fact. That's true, yeah. Don't bother resisting. I will obtain the red strings. <laughs> I wouldn't let that happen. Those are my strings. Trying to find Shrek is such a better <laughs> plot thread than anything <laughs> any of these games are about. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if that was like the carrot dangling in a game, that's just an automatic win. Like, you are going to be compelled yeah. to get to the end of that one, game. One quest, it's like Breath of the Wild, but it just has one objective, find Shrek, and you don't have any other side quests. It's whatever you do between then and... You can defeat other things that make finding Shrek easier, but you can find it from the start. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. For me, I am often depressed when I look at the status of where oh. we are in terms of depression and anxiety and inattention. We owe it to all the people that are suffering to that be really some hair, baby. to try things. Give that me that. First hear it, he looks like crazy, a Greek like guy. Like a video game is medicine. <laughs> My name is Adam Ghazali. I am a neuroscientist and a neurologist. It started for me 12 years ago. Good game I alert. I'm really interested in this idea of creating experience. People as a think way he's Zeus. Brain function. <laughs> and this relies on a he probably gets that a lot. The fact that our brain reshapes itself and modifies itself in response I to I am challenges. not Zeus. I am not and Zeus. So that's how it all started for me to create a video game that was carefully designed to challenge and reward the brain in a very specific what is this? way. Like, and are so people paying for this? Ago, Does anybody know what this is? Gonna it's gonna say fb.gg at the end again, right? Treat inattention in children that have ADHD. I'm not keeping up with your this gamer the lingo, Leo. <laughs> I think that's just what kids are saying. Video game for any medical condition. So what we're talking about right now is to have a I like video that shirt. Like, the vibe is like unplugged in the matrix. You know, it's a good a look. Yeah. I don't own a cat and I'm showing off. Yeah, GG, yeah, it's Facebook place. stuff. GG. They're your friend, they're helping you. Only the best can keep it safe. Become a tier one operative. Aye, 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 aye. Plan. <laughs> Position. And execute. No! Oh! I knew it. I knew Always it that back. last part. Do whatever it takes. <laughs> the four player co operative game where you don't Join shoot zombies, but you beat the lot of thunder. Leo, you want to toss me one of those chips? As gamers, you are just generally better humans. <laughs> Plum out, the world sorry. You. Here at the Peak Humanity Procreation Facility, gamers from around the globe are donating their superior DNA. Excuse me? I'm <laughs> donating. I'm donating. I have powerful swim swims, and it can be yours. Transcend humanity through gaming. Well, okay. okay. All right. Cool. What is that tone? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> That's what the hell was yeah. that? Hold on, I'm adding the Omen computer to my car. Right now. <laughs> and I guess it needs my sperm. Uh, do you want to 
check out with a new card, your old card, or sperm. They, they, want, it, they want me to give them multiple credit card numbers. I'm not sure why. Give it in. Nancy, do you have the one? Can you just say it? Yeah. It's uh, fb.gg. <laughs> give us, give us just the expiration, Hanson, and we'll guess the rest. Oh <laughs> six nineteen. Here's, I feel like a oh, hero no. every time Rip. I, um, you know, every time you're giving your credit card over the phone, which I do most nights, and they say, what's the expiration? I'm always proud of myself for not translating it into the month. If you say the month, you should be punished. You know what I mean? Don't make yeah. them do the math. Don't say July 4th. You know, just give them the number. Like, what percentage of people do you think say the month? 40. 40, at least 40. 40, yeah. And they're bad people. Huh. Welcome back. I've never considered that bad. play is available now on new consoles, Steam, and Origin. It includes Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, one of our nominees tonight, and a great game. All right, now on to one of the biggest was games it? this year. It was created it's by three developers year. in Seattle. Oh, like, now four. You saw them. They've hmm. won two awards tonight. Interslot. They absolutely took over the internet uh, with Among Us. Well, they sent us something special. This is the reveal of the brand new map. I mean, Jedi Fallen Order Among came out, Check it out pretty roommates. late, I guess. Didn't it last year? Like December, though? No. But still, I think the cutoff is what? Mid November? Hmm. 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 Uh, it's the new map. New map. A plane. How rich are they now? Welcome, recruit. Get yourself acquainted with the layout of the Barry. top of that airship. This is a tough game to make a trailer Enough for. Enough slacking. Go do your tasks. Ish. You may need to take a ladder to get to certain areas, or maybe just take a nice shortcut. Quit grouping up. Choose a room to start in after a meeting. Hmm. Someone keeps trying to sabotage us. Stop their plan. Keep your eyes peeled. Cool. We definitely have an imposter here. You like this game, Leo? Eh. I'm happy for everyone liking it. I never want to play it outside of VR chat, but we should play it in VR chat. Yeah. You'd love it. Hang on. Shut up, video games. What is this? Rich says... Did you hear about the new Pixar movie Lightyear? Chris Evans is playing Buzz. Is that actually a thing that's they happening? My face into a mask, and that drops right now on <laughs> Twitch for the next 30 minutes. That's right, the Jeff Keighley what? mask. Have fun. Don't be sus. They they came to me and said, "All right, we can do this." Was my request. Anyways, oh. uh, Among Us Jeff Keighley match now available. All right, he's His a hilarious man like, like, with over cadence of like subs trying to talk through laughter. Views. He's joining I think us he now. has. I think he's been practicing that, and he's gotten Jack really good at it. Yep. Hello, Jack. What's up? What's Hello, Jack. up, Jack? Hello, Jack. What's Jack. up? How's it going? Hello, everyone at the Game Awards. In a year when so many of us were separated, have you heard of this guy, Leo? Our family and friends. <laughs> one thing remained the same. Our favorite I content creators saw, were I was reading us. comments on a streaming, posting of the Buns Vine that had a few hundred thousand views. Wow. And one of them was like, who's here from Jacksepticeye? And I was, I commented, I was like, please God, tell me what video he used it in. I want to see him <laughs> watching <laughs> that Vine oh. so bad. Did you find oh, it? No, no, I never did. Are you proud of me, Dad? Uh, what, who is this? But honestly, have you, had you heard of him before that? Oh yeah, of course. He's huge. He's, he's one of the biggest content wait, creators out up. there. Wait, is that right? Hold up, hold up. I don't wow. know. I feel like I'm bragging wow, about wow, not knowing wow. things, which is not a good, not a good vibe for a, an aging person. Uh, I can break him down for you. He's yes, the guy who goes, yes. top of the morning day, laddies, at the start. Ooh, that does sound vaguely familiar. At the, at the end, he says, let me finish. At the end, he says, smash that like button like a boss. Yep, 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 yep. Got it, got it. To... How do you... That's him. Where do you hear about new, uh, new content creators? Where are you finding these folks? I'm always confused. I mean, they so recommended to me, and I to, uh, the Game Awards watched them out of morbid curiosity, despite not really enjoying them. Guys, hold on. The content creator is speaking. And She's creating content with every word. Loving community Look at her go. For being so <laughs> That's a cool background. Uh, That's cozy. Past yeah. Yeah. I want to live so in that house. Give us your house! Being creator of the year. That's crazy, because there's just so many amazing... Creators, I can't believe. I don't know. It's just unbelievable. Anyways, thank you so Moving much on. for your support. I am very flattered and honored to accept this award. Um, and yeah, 
Thank you. Of the good content. Adobe salutes the nominees for content creator of the year. I would like to think that if I was nominated, I'd, I'd come up with some Tonight, something to say. Wouldn't you like to believe that about yourself? Free trial of Adobe I yeah, but I live in fear that it would go exactly like that. Yeah. <laughs> Worst nightmare. Joining me right now is the chief <laughs> Except with officer my shitty of house. Epic Games, Donald <laughs> Mustard. Uh, Donald, it is great to have you on the show. It's a yearly tradition. Mustard. New Fortnite season. Mustard. What can you tell us? Misty Musty, oh, what's good? So awesome to be here. So awesome to see you. This is amazing, Jeff. You did Look at that Fortnite again. money buying uh, that depth of field. Uh, so, yeah, I was so excited. Eat the rich. Uh, new season has started. <laughs> we just all battled Galactus together with our favorite Marvel heroes and... And what that's done is it's left the Fortnite zero point exposed and Agent Jones is looking for all these hunters throughout all these different realities that can uh, help What do you think his last creative contribution to Fortnite was? Fortnite. And uh, he, we've already um, seen several characters come he invented in buses. one more that he's bringing in right now. That's a big oh, one. I'm gonna go back in time to create this vehicle so we can put it in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Invent a profession that moves this vehicle around. That's the thing. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? It is Master Chief. That is so. Hey. Is it playable on PS4? Yeah. I mean, Kratos is playable on every system. Is he really? Yeah. That is awesome. It does say Xbox in the lower left. Huh. But that That's is cool. so fun. Are these all like skins you Master can just wear, Chief or is it like an event? To Fortnite, you're getting where you can play as Master. It's a skin. No one Isn't knows. That crazy. I, Master Chief is just one of my most favorite characters ever in anything, and I'm just we're <laughs> so thrilled that he can join the ever-growing cast of characters in in Fortnite. Uh, There's so many kids playing cool Fortnite. I feel like Halo's tonight, not been relevant in their uh, lifetime. In no. and, but and do you think more people Master will Chief. play as and Master Chief in Fortnite so or Sephiroth? Well, Master Chief. Master Chief. Yeah, so I sure. think, uh, you know, oh, we yeah. didn't want to just stop right, right there. To, what if so the buy, wedding's like $30? Should, uh, oh, hang on, out. hang on, hang on. <laughs> well, hello, sir. It's an honor. Hey, Sarge, did you hear? Huh, I guess you already got the news. What news? Master Chief is coming to Fortnite. A fort what now? It's only one of the most popular video games in the world, but more obviously, it's where we are Oh, right that's now. fun. Huh. Wait a minute, if you had no idea that we're in Fortnite, then why do you have a cardboard cut out of Master Chief? Perfectly regular reasons. Whoa, you guys new around here? Oh no. No! The Chief ninja. got eliminated by a sneaky blue! That's no blue! That's... that's Ninja! Oh my god. It's such an honor. I I'm a huge fan of yours on Twitch. Twitch? Is he twitching because he's blue? Stop making us look bad in front of Ninja. We're Sergeant Griff from the popular web series Red vs. Blue. You probably watched it about 10 years ago. What are you doing here? Well, it's more than more like just 20. Chief coming to Fortnite. This map yeah. is too. It'll be in creative mode starting at 10 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. What? Oh, that is fun. Well, that's what we're doing in Ragnarok. You mean Basin. I'm pretty sure it was called something else. Either way, you can start reliving your favorite Halo memories here in Fortnite. And maybe add your own personal... <laughs> Play Halo in Fortnite. Hey, wait. Does that mean we can have <laughs> dance battles? Come Honestly, on, I will play say? this. I was really debating like what would make me yeah. play Same more Fortnite, Fortnite, but like yeah. 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 That's that cool. Is weird. Red versus blue, Donald. Yeah, isn't that so awesome and so funny? Um so what's awesome about that is that uh, Blood Gulch was recreated in Fortnite Creative by this awesome creative team that called themselves Atlas Creative. And they're pretty creative. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern You'll be able to go into Fortnite and you can play Capture the Flag in a recreated Come version. Come on. That's a fun Gulch. idea. Oh my God. It's e going to be fun. Everything is in Fortnite right now. So you, are, are you done for the season? You know, I mean, Agent Jones is a. Uh, is it hurts kind as of someone who plays a bunch of games that aren't so, Fortnite to uh, see what a game with like a strong Fortnite. engine where they can add stuff and yeah. it doesn't break everything. Like what they can do with that. Yeah. Just add a playable Halo to it <laughs> versus like. Siege adding one thing and it breaking a hundred unrelated other things. Hey, these folks are here too now. We got them. We can't take on Master Chief. That's absurd. All right. Okay. But I'll play as a. Thanks, doll. I have no <laughs> idea where we're going next, but I'm on board. Thanks, Jeff.
Right. That's enough, Donald. 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 From Epic <laughs> Stop it, Donald. Stop it. I banish you. <laughs> Culture's already <laughs> dead. Don't go anywhere. Right now, let's hear from Rocket League on their new season. Hi, I'm Rocket League. Hey, what's up? I'm the <laughs> and I am stoked to be welcomed into Rocket League's vibrant community in such a big way. I'm excited to work with Cyanix and Monster Cat to put together an EP for Rocket League's music season. Ben, Pixar season said this season. isn't Buzz Lightyear the toy. So tonight, the movie is apparently going to be a full sci-fi movie that takes place in the universe Ryan his toy is based on. That Let's is a pretty fun idea. So basically the opening of Toy Story 2, the film. Trap. So is it set in the same universe as like Buzz Lightyear Star Command, that cartoon? I doubt it, but uh, spiritually we can say yes. I doubt Adam Carolla will be voicing a character in the film, the way he did in that show. <laughs> That's fun. I'm so glad Rocket League's still a thing. Yeah, it's a great game. This is on my top 10 of all time. Yeah. You think Nintendo would ever add Mario to Fortnite? Just. I mean, they have. Well, they have. The, the theme is Hunters. And so everyone's like, well, obviously Samus Aran. Like, that conversation at least happened. And I bet they said no. Seems like they would have announced it here. Yeah. I, yeah, having Mario in, like, Rabbids, where he has a little toy gun versus mm. literally sniping Mario. Yeah. What's going on here? Skyrim's still out. I just assumed it was already there, wasn't it? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dovahkiin remix. Yeah, we got it. Oh, Siege is on there? I didn't know that. That's cool. Go oh, bang. Still weird, it's still two separate services. services on PC and Xbox. Yeah. But, you know, I had like the anecdotal experience this year of playing Halo 1 and convincing best friend Ronnie to play with me and Grant. And then it's like, why aren't you getting Game Pass? And he's like, I don't really know what that is, to be honest. And then, like, it was nice just to have, like, close friends have that moment of, like, holy sweet mother of God, why haven't I been paying for this the whole time? This is insane. And that's just PC alone. It's funny yes. if you subscribe to Nitro, you get three months of Game Pass. And vice versa. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Haven's on there? Crazy. What the hell? Mind Control Delete, still one of the best titles of the year, I think. I hope Killer Queen finds a big audience there. That's a cool addition. Yeah, that's definitely a good avenue for it. Yeah. We had uh, somebody from the MinMax community support us on Patreon to the level that they got to play a game with us for an hour and choose what game they wanted to play, and I'm so glad that they chose Killer Queen because they were, like, super fans. I just got to talk to them for an hour while I played about just, like, the evolution of the Killer Queen community and how much it's struggling lately. And it's a really interesting little subset story about just a really cool game that was a phenomenon on the arcades and it just hasn't quite cut on on the console version. Real quick, they just showed that uh, three more Yak four more Yakuza games are coming. Oh, uh, really? Jesus. Game pass, so I'll play yeah. those. Sweet. Not seven, though, right? No, it's uh, three through six. Gotcha. Just checked Pokemon Go on my phone, and there's Wooper watch. Wooper so watch. Can officially declare another. Wooper has watch. been killed. Are also appearing in balloons and at Pokestops, and you can save Wooper from your villainous clutches. We, ladies and gentlemen, we got it. We lost a chopper in the mix, but it's worth it. There were only 40 civilian casualties. Tactically compromised to a permanent end. Little known as Wooper. Buried in the Pacific. <laughs> so no one can worship the body. There <laughs> you go, Serio. Thank you. I love just cause mobile. It's out already, or is it this is an update or the game? I think this is an announcement. I told you okay. the Just Cause series wasn't dead, Serial. 
You you are constantly posting in Slack about how, at like all hours of the night, just cause is not dead. <laughs> you post it. Oh. No matter how many times I put thumbs down on those posts, <laughs> you just keep posting them. I'm a bad gamer, and I'm not proud of it. But the truth is, when a trailer suddenly shows you that it's been showing an isometric game this whole time, heart sinks. Yeah. <laughs> I know I should open my mind beyond that, but <laughs> look at what these people are doing. You want to do that <laughs> top down? Uh, Especially on mobile. Yeah, weird. Hello? Twilight 76 mobile. That is a weird quote to have. Wastelands is a real asset to the game. <laughs> Updates have transformed the game. It's not garbage anymore. You're not even saying that. You can play online with friends. <laughs> Quote, available now. <laughs> In quotes. <laughs> Ow! This is real rock and roll. Hell yeah. Is this sale? I think it is. <laughs> Wait for the drop. <laughs> oh, Christ. Show Sephiroth. The Game Awards is back. We've got a lot of great shows. <laughs> Arbor Reef still to come. Christopher Nolan and so much more. And of course, we've got the Game Awards oh, sale no. happening on all the platforms, including an awesome no discount Lynn. on Destiny 2. So uh, make sure to check that out across all platforms. All right. For the next 30 minutes on Twitch, you can get a free Cosmic Wrap for Fortnite. There what is it, a Twitch is... drop happening right now. I don't think I understand check Twitch. I can get a this Cosmic Wrap and Keeley's face. Right and... here at the Game Awards, hmm? developed by Airship. But, well, the Keeley thing is an emote. Ford. The Cosmic Wrap is a thing you can claim in Fortnite, first look at and the it'll get added to your account. Uh, I see, title, I see. The first ever single-player console game from the League of Legends universe. This is Ruined King, I'm excited a to League see of this. Legends story. They said it was a turn-based RPG, right? Cutthroat. Is it weird that I sometimes want, Spirits. like, Healy's shoes to squeak I while he's presenting? I do, too. Yeah. Next, to see what he would happen. Like, would he stop in his tracks and say, like, well, or would he just be a consummate professional? He would look directly at the camera and say, not a fart. Let's stop. And then keep <laughs> Those are the shoes. The queen of I'm hoping the whole show is building up to him to going in for a dunk. On the other host. <laughs> yeah. 1v1 to determine if we show Elden Ring gameplay or not. <laughs> Hooper watch, more like watch this. Can you imagine? That would be that would be the moment of the year is like genuinely serious one-on-one -on -one basketball and it determines whether or not we show Elden Ring. Equally matched. That would be gamers would lose their freaking minds. That'd be so fun. And if they lose, it's canceled. They bring out Miyazaki and uh, Jeff, if Jeff Keighley can get uh, a dunk on him, they show a trailer for Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. I see no fortune for those standing in their way. <laughs> Miyazaki doesn't like to be on camera, but he makes an exception if he has a basketball in his hands. <laughs> and Casey says, zoom in, fuckers. Yeah. That was one of the biggest, that was one of the hard parts of the Sekiro cover trip, is that only, only if I have a ball Nothing can you photograph good. me. <laughs> he kept trying to like bounce past one to him, but he wouldn't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Just in my... Moving the ball, and him chucking it, cut to us on the other side of the table. Ball just goes flying by. <laughs> no one even tries. All right, Ruin King available on console and PC in 2021. Now to present our next award, a man who absolutely needs no introduction. Don't do it. Please welcome Keanu Reeves. Keanu. He's here. here. Reference the breathtaking thing. Uh, greetings, everyone. I'm honored to be here to present the Game Award. I've cut my hair in solidarity with all the people playing Cyberpunk this category who have experienced bugs. The studio that demonstrated <laughs> superior creative vision, setting an even higher bar for the entire gaming industry. Over the past months, I've come to really appreciate. He looks less comfortable on camera than Troy Baker. Goes into making a video game. 
A special shout out to the folks and team at CD. He looks Project like he's thinking about an forward. argument he just an lost and is trying to figure out how to John win it. Silverhand in Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> Thank you. And now, oh. here are the nominees <laughs> right. for best game direction. Your game's on fire! Game direction. More of a real dude than Troy This Baker. is a one time That's game. That's true. When it's done, we're done. What we're doing here for Chinese That's a weird note for a game that's clearly episodic. Like, when I was just having, like, an audio clip is him saying, This is one note, we're done. Who have a better home where you belong? Here on Olympus. I know you wish they. This is game direction? Okay. Yeah. And the game award goes to. Come on. The Last of Us Ooh, Part Two. Ooh, there it is. Congratulations, Neil. Thanks, Keanu. Uh, thank you, Keanu. That's a simple <laughs> thing to say. Uh, shout out to our game directors, Kurt Marganow and Anthony Newman. Wish we could be doing this together, guys. Man, what a year! Um, it's an honor to be in this category with such incredible games um direction is here's my hot take about this whole to thing internalize it make i think it he looks better with short hair into a game. i think he does too and we're privileged Keanu? to have such an every amazing team them. cast outsourcing wow. partners he looks a little um Sony. every single person that there's a little paul rudd in there game little paul rudd yes magic. i was exa that was exactly and what i was about to say thanks to yeah. my former boss well when you're co-president you can finally afford a haircut now through thick and thin give me the paul rudd this game i can't tell you how much i appreciate that Thank you to the Game Awards and to all our fans. Cheers. Yeah, Sean Moore says that's nail in the coffin for Goaty. All right, we've still got in a one good way, last yeah. award to present the big one, Game of the Year, presented by Christopher Nolan. Like it means it will we'll get it now? I think that's what, I think that's what Chat's London saying. I'm trying to read the tea leaves. It is weird that, like, I think the Oscars also Studios. sort of have this, where they're like, the there's is just a couple of awards next, that are like, right now, I guess, they're, like, they're Online distinct in that this is best game direction, but how is that distinct from the year in a lot of ways? I think a lot of people voting just kind of confuse it to them. It's like, yeah, if it wins for best direction, then yeah, it's like, what we're picking. But I think on the other hand, people might party? vote for one where they like know who the director is versus one where they like the game but don't know the name of the director. Neil Druckmann being a very big name in that field, yeah. yeah. David L says, don't forget to send a clip of J Jacob Geller on the podcast saying Last of Us wouldn't sweep from last week's Mid Max show. <laughs> yeah, that fool. What has he ever done right? Other than every video he's ever done. I take security. I need someone to rob it. You're obviously going to need a Starman says it's weird that Final Fantasy VII Remake will likely walk away with nothing. Yeah, because what win, what one or... soundtrack? Was that Last of Us? Let's try and come out of this with all of our ears and a bit of suntan. We're very obviously keeping up with these ones. <laughs> Look, we got chat to read, we got jokes to make, we got shrieking to do. It, we're Final busy. Final Fantasy got best right, RPG. I'll, I'll Google it. Yeah. Mm, that's there right. You go. It did get best RPG. You're right. And soundtrack. <laughs> Lucy Adam was born about 9,000 years before our time. I swear, Finn Diesel's in this one, too. <laughs> in the year and I'm that baby. <laughs> after having federated the African continent, she set out to conquer Rome. It was on this witnessing is? the consequences of this terrible battle that she decided to impose upon her people. Oh, yeah, I think every trailer should have Hall the Mountain King. It's a classic. And How many videos have you edited to Hall the Mountain King in your life, Leo? Death of the king, that she was crowned Empress huh. of Spain. I don't think any. It's in fact really? To celebrate this event that uh, rock and roll was invented. Is this Crusader in Kings? 1789, allied with the yeah, valiant Japanese, she discovered the real Indies, which had fallen into the hands of the bloody French. This was followed by the Great Devastation, a 100-year war that Lucy Adam ended before beginning the Great Reconstruction and Is establishing a lasting peace by banishing all forms of currency and violence, as well as the use of oh, no. sticks no. in museums. Oh, is this that Lucy, civilization? No, it's not civilization, but it's like okay, Odyssey so or something. There's a game that is like Civ. Cultural stereotypes of the great civilization. I think, yeah, there we go. How far will you push humankind? 
Oh, Amplitude made that. Okay, that's why that name was familiar. We've been having fun with Instagram's Game of the Year AR effects. Here are a couple more. Give us another Whooper watch. Those effects are still available. Whooper so keep or get out. Your Instagram reels. And coming up, we'll find out. out who's getting a real life Game Award <laughs> Some trophy. Guy for running game away. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, oh! Welcome. I know what this is. Here you go, Leo. Are you looking forward to this, Leo? Yeah. Oh, really. How about a thing Respawn, happened? don't miss. It's true. The German occupation has I do. When I play their game. <laughs> <enemy. laughs> we need more resistance members, but that's much easier said than done. People in the chat are saying it's a 400 gig weapon. VR game. Make any move and we shoot. Really? Uh, Please tell me you brought hurt. bazookas. Well. Not a very build on Oculus Quest, I guess. <laughs> this is so strange. What a weird project. This just reminds me of the yeah. uh, the the game they made for Wii, the Medal of Honor Wii game a mm. while ago. Okay. I mean, this will probably be better than that. It's just got this shot. video in it. Medal of Honor Bowser's we Fury. Yeah. Something we had to do. A Bowser and Beyond. You want to hear the rest of the story? Boy, these veterans are getting up there. Yeah. How many we got They're left? They're tired of explaining this. <laughs> <laughs> For the last time. Where is my sister? World yeah, War II happened. To be together. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. That's all we can ask for. If, um... Leo, would you watch like World War II battles if I said I have HD footage and you can like move the camera anywhere you want, but you can actually see like the craziest battles from World War II? Would you look at it? <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Because it'd be too traumatizing? Yeah, because you don't like gore. You're like me. You're scared of blood and stuff. Oh, no, I would do that. Welcome okay. back to the Game Awards. I'm so excited later. about that Medal of Honor from Respawn <laughs> in VR. Surprise, it's out right now. What an incredible trailer and game. I can't wait to play that, hopefully this weekend. All right. Uh, when the show ends, the games continue nice with the Game Awards. Nice graphics of the coronavirus behind them. I think that's a real classic movie. You can stream them on GeForce Now, Watch which out, means no download on PC, <laughs> Mac, coming up. Or, or phones. Uh, make sure to check it out. Uh, we got playable games available. World premiere. Weekend. First right, person to get vaccinated in the United States. <laughs> Check this out. Here it is. There you go. Who's it gonna go to? Mass Effect. We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched. Roger, copy. Mm hmm. Houston, you're a go for landing, over. Ori owns that shade of blue. It's true. <laughs> People guessing Starfield. Not a world premiere, though. Well, this is this is similar to that sequence in Bayonetta, so it might be Bayonetta 3. Mm. I think this is actually Sephiroth's move from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> People demanding that it be Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Eight thousand years earlier. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Star Citizen. The hell, Journey? What are you? The Legend of Zelda. Metroid Prime Two. Four. People are guessing. Hell yeah! No, what the hell? <laughs> you were right the first time, actually. Oh my god. Well. Is it going to be Andromeda 2? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I hope you like looking at that trailer and studying it for the next 14 we'll years. return. Dot, dot, dot. Oh boy. At least it's cool to confirm like at least the time period that Liara's there. 
Mass Effect. I can't wait to see where Bioware is going to take that uh, next. Um, very exciting. All right. Well, to present. I mean, they our teased Dragon Age award, Four. What? This two man years has ago. Created some I mean, of the most iconic films of all time. Some of which screened this summer in Fortnite. People don't seem 20th, to have liked that trailer. For a conversation with him on YouTube to talk about the well, they probably because it's. I don't think it really adds anything. Well, well I guess it adds the whole, the R B in it. But yeah. Send them our it doesn't feel like it's building on like, hey, Nolan on we're gonna Twitter. we're making another but right now without further Which they already ado, to present talked game about. of the year, yeah, it's they, my honor to yeah. introduce Christopher Nolan. Hey, Chris. Yeah, giving a title is the least it's you can do in that situation, and yeah. not even getting that is for me annoying. I've always been interested in telling stories that that immerse the audience. Uh, I like movies that, that in Fortnite. unfold in unexpected <laughs> ways and, and pull people into a world. Uh, when I look at video games, I see his a lot voice of parallels is with that kind of so deep. It's like the uh, brown players' note. agency and choice intersect with more For traditional me, storytelling right now. methods. It's uh, exciting to see and really quite groundbreaking. I Tonight, kind of wanted all to see six the nominees house, for though. Game of the Year this is, are true masterworks. This is this blanket for it in the living room. <laughs> to pay tribute to them, please welcome from Abbey Road Studios the London Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by my old friend Lorne Balfi. What a name dropper. Ooh, the game of the, the game awards theme. How hard did they um Okay, hang on, shut up, shut up. Are you just gonna mute it during all the games you don't like? Yeah. <laughs> See, you understood my play. So this all like the nominees? Yeah. Or just some cool ass game. That the <laughs> orchestra like. <laughs> <laughs> We just we just started riffing, and that's how the nominees came out. <laughs> that's where you have to unlock that assassination in Ghost of Tsushima. Oh yeah, doing it through the door. It's like I could figure that one out. That's a tough theme to incorporate. <laughs> People are wondering if there's going to be a one more thing. I don't, I forget how these are structured. I, I don't think It's the so. sixth nominee, Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Leo, Leo, have you still not played Hades? I played it. Oh, okay. I remember you were like, eh, I'm not crazy about Supergiant stuff. Right when it came out, at least. No, I, yeah, I've liked other Supergiant stuff. But oh, my style of game. Whenever I'm... a game reviews itself to be asking me. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about it more lately. I think it's if you have to, if the main thing you do is jump or dodge, I don't like it. Ah. Uh, that's what I think about video games. Two of my favorite birds. Problematic, I know. Final predictions? I just, it's why I can't get into Animal Crossing. No dodging. <laughs> uh, does anybody have any final predictions for a game of the year? Uh, what did I say on the podcast? Because it wasn't taken. I don't remember. 80s? I don't think 80s is going to win it anymore. Yeah, it's a bummer. I want it to be Hades. I think it'll be uh, Last of Us. I think it'll be Last of Us. Same. Well, that sounded fantastic. And now, <laughs> the game of I'm the sure. award goes to... God, he's so chill. The Last of Us, part two. There it is. There it is. Thanks, uh, Christopher Nolan. Oh, I won? Again, a uh, big congrats to all the other games we're nominated with. Um, everyone at Naughty Dog, I, I can't wait to hug and high-five and get drunk with each one of you. 
uh, that's going to have to wait till next year. Um, I want to just thank every person that worked on this ambition game and within Naughty Chat's Dog not and outside. Happy. Uh, shout yeah. out to our um, Sony partners again, Scott Brody, haircut, Connie Booth, Herman, yeah. Hulst, Sean Layden, Jim Ryan, your support and trust they in wanted us to dye his beard. the world. Um, oh. And more than anything, and I know that I speak Hot for pink? the whole team when I say this, oh. No We'd like to thank our friends and family that stood by us and supported so us. So Ghost of Tsushima uh, only win the player's game. choice you inspire one? Us not yeah. only I guess to make so. Better, maybe that's why. Games. Yeah, maybe that's why they made a big deal um, out of it beforehand, just to on behalf of I don't everyone know, try and celebrate God. them a little oh, yeah. bit. We're sorry to disappoint you. This is not going to win. Yeah. Congratulations to Naughty Dog, Game of the Year. I want you to take off your shoe and have that be with the Elden Ring. Congratulations to all our trailers. winners and all the nominees around I want him to put the Elden Ring on his hand. Thank you for joining us virtually, and next year hopefully we will all be back <laughs> The ring goes on your foot, person. actually. In the meantime, there'll be plenty of games to play. Congratulations also to Pluful, who is voted by the fans as their favorite emerging Valorant streamer. Let's what? all go raid her stream right now on Twitch. What There's is also this? the Twitch Gaming post show that's coming up right now at slash Twitch Gaming. I'll be joining them to chat about all the things Camera fanning like. way, you've like got seconds show. to close this show. Camera won't walk out the door with the camera. For gaming and the games we love. Thanks to our Game Awards team and all the incredible developers and publishers around the world who made this show possible under very trying circumstances. I can't believe we did it. Take care, stay safe, happy Haven't holidays, and be well. I'm Jeff Keeley. Good night. We'll see you next year. Crowd goes wild. Right <laughs> Unplugging the <laughs> Ethernet cord. Ooh, people are not going to be happy about the lack of Elden Ring. Would they have been better off just letting folks know Elden Ring will not be here tonight? Why did people think it would be, though? Because they've had a connection. Like, Sekiro won last year. They revealed Sekiro at there. Like, there is that bond and that history there. That, yeah. That doesn't mean the game's getting worked on, even. <laughs> <laughs> people, yeah. Okay, people, uh, okay, let's say. Let's say it. Uh, scale of 1 to 10, where do you put the awards show? Uh, chat, let us know. Personally, I, I enjoyed that still. I think that's a solid 6, 7, 5. Where are you guys at? Yeah, that sounds about right. What's are we doing seven average or five average? I have to ask every time. I don't know. <laughs> five, I guess. Five average, that was about a f six. Okay. Chat seems to be in its seven range. Say about five or six. I think it was pretty like it was average to above average of what I expected. Yeah. Like there there wasn't like one huge reveal that to me was like, oh, I like like I'm very excited for this. Like the biggest thing for me was like the the update to Disco Elysium. Mm. <laughs> right. It's really? Oh, that's yeah, was it, there were a few fun things like that. Yeah, a bunch of surprises sure. along the way. I, I still enjoy it every year. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, yeah, some fours out there. It's probably averaging, yeah, around a six and a half or something like that. I think a lot of people were bummed out about the lack of Elden Ring. Understandable, but I think it's going to be a thing when we look back at all the stuff that was announced, I think there's a surprising amount. I think it's, I think it's a solid show. And didn't feel... Watching it with you guys... In the chat, 10 out of 10. Leo, thank you, man. There we all go. <laughs> uh, there we go, everyone. <laughs> and hey. There we go, every one of us. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to Chandler Miller for uh, upping his tier on Patreon. He's upped it to the $10 tier, the backstage pass tier, so you can watch us record stuff live, and you can vote every week on what we stream for the Great Goaty Hunt. You can watch Leo record, or edit, create, for Christ's sake. Uh, watch later, his essay series. Yeah. One coming out tomorrow about the game of the year. That's right. The multiplayer mode we still know nothing about. What I hope it's about. Yeah. Um, Sir, you don't have to shriek, but do you have any guttural noise you'd like to give it up for Chandler Miller? Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there like it is. Metal, that wasn't like a shriek of fear. That was more like a metal shriek. But yeah, yeah, like a Pokemon named Chandler Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Chandler Miller, watch. All right, thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Uh, we appreciate your support, and thanks for watching, listening to our content. We appreciate it. Um, we'll have more stuff coming up. Uh, we have our own awards show coming up uh, next week. We're going to be kicking this off. So the next episode of the MinMax Show podcast, which you can subscribe to in your favorite podcast app, uh, that is going to be us sharing the MinMax Awards, which is our categories like Best Thing, 
dumbest thing, uh, best character, best moment, all that stuff. So it'll be a long, fun discussion with all six of us debating. And then the week after that will be the first half of our Game of the Year list, where you get to listen to us have the full debate, the two tens. And then the week after that will be the second half of the two tens. And then we'll and I'll the... say, yeah, there might be an exclusive announcement about Elden Ring. I don't want to promise it, but Maybe stay it's not tuned. Hero. <laughs> yep. Also, if you're at that $10 tier uh, on Patreon, you can watch us record those discussions live, and that'll be especially relevant because we're recording the two tens discussions ahead of time, and so you can get uh, a very sneak peek because we'll be recording those and going off in the holidays, so you will know our game of the year before anybody else in the world. So jump up to that $10 tier if you'd like that type of thing. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Be good, have fun, let's go! <laughs>